Hey streamy people, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Stream Persona 5 Royal. In the last one, we were had. Uh, Makoto learned that we were the Phantom Thieves thanks to someone not being able to control their volume. And that person will remain nameless, Ryuji. But without further ado... Gotta find my file. There it is. Right. We were here. What were we going to do? Well, we could hang with Mishima. I think that's it. Do I have anything I needed washed? <laughs> Maybe? Could sell some stuff. Eh, I could just go to the laundromat if I really want to. Uh, yes, I do have one of the moon. Specifically so I can hang out with Mishima. What is Mishima doing? He's at a rank 4? Maybe we can get him to 5, potentially. And he's the only one, so... Mishima, are you- are you just standing out here in the rain? Dude. I mean, you don't even have to be. You could just be in that- I mean, I guess you'd be in the way, but you're still in the way because you're standing right in front of the elevator. Like, you could just stand here and not have your- wait, why do I have my umbrella out? <laughs> oh wait, I could also work on my skills, couldn't I? Status. I mean, yeah, I could have the Big Bang Burger to boost my points. Do I want to focus on my skills right now, or do I want to focus on confidence? And I also have, like, a rented DVD, don't I? I need to figure out which direction I'm going. Sorry. <laughs> Hey, you rented something, right? I see you. Heart rent a heart rending drama about working in the ER teaches you kindness. You know what? Yeah, let's watch this. No one's contacted me for confidence, so let's watch. This man is a convicted criminal. Yet you want to save him? His guilt or innocence is for the courts to decide. My only concern is that he lives long enough to get there. It's a story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. Wow. I like this guy. A person's life is valuable, no matter what they've done. Yep. No matter the circumstances, those doctors never gave up. Maybe you learned a thing or two about kindness from watching this drama. I'll take two points of kindness, let's go. Probably should have checked my plant too. Oh well. Well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? Ooh! Hey! Well, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something until we get there? Well, let's continue with the alluring dancer and boost my charm a bit. Even when facing death, her soul was free. Wow. It wasn't just her looks, but the way uh, her way of life was also very beautiful. Oh. So you finished reading the alluring dancer. The great beauty of Carmen lived for love and passion. I suppose life without freedom is pointless. Well. I don't know if I could ex could live exactly like she did, but you learned a lot, didn't you? Could it be? No. Wishful thinking. <laughs> I was exciting myself for no reason. I'm like, maybe? But no. 
Not yet. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was efficient use of your time. The rumors are pretty terrible. Don't you think that blackmail stuff is insane? I didn't think it had anything to do with me, but there were even victims in my class. Oh, I know about, all about that. These guys supposedly come asking if you want an easy, high-paying job. Doesn't everyone? But then, if you say yes, you get dragged into some real shady, sh uh, really stuff. The teachers and student council press will do something about it, though. People are really worried. Oh, are you talking about that posting? I wonder if she was really serious about that. I heard she knew about Kamoshida and the sexual harassment. She probably won't be too much help. How much control do they think a student council president has? Like, before we move on to this, like, student council president doesn't really have a lot of authority. I think they mostly can just, like, get events together or whatever. I don't think they'd be able to, like, cover up abuse of a teacher. That seems silly. Silly. Laugh. Words. That Ida guy is here. I'll try to ask him about it. I'm counting on you. Leap to me! Level of motivation actually makes me a little more nervous. In any case, let us know if you learn anything. Nijibakun, what is going on here? Apparently the damage done by this so-called mafia has even reached our student body. Yes, that was the problem. Well... I thought this absurdity was nothing but a joke. Why would you think that, you idiot? Not only are there victims, there are even rumors that some are involved with such crimes. I've even received inquiries from their guardians. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, I do not have the answer to that. Yeah, you're putting a lot of pressure on a student, Principal Kingpin. This is the greatest disgrace in the history of this academy. If it were to be discovered. And that's all you care about, right? Optics. This is a vital issue for the student council. Did I not ask you to resolve it? Again, what the fuck do you think a student council president could do in this situation, Kingpin? I'm doing the best I can. Student has no actual resources to pursue a criminal case. And I can trust you? You must do something about this at once. But you do something about it. You're the teacher. Well, actually, you're not even the teacher. You're an administrative official in charge of school. This should be your wheelhouse. You're the only one who is reliable around here. Don't let me down. Well, that just sounds like a staffing problem. <laughs> From what I've heard, even the other students are starting to be dissatisfied with you. At this rate, you and I will both lose our roles at this school. Do you understand? <laughs> I do. I fucking hate this guy. Please, just give me a little more time. Kids these days. So I handed a bill over at a convenience store, and they told me they don't take foreign currency. But what I gave was a bona fide Japanese no a bank note. Don't tell me young people these days don't know how who Hirobumi Ito is. I shudder to think that these will be the people shouldering Japan uh, Japan's economy. I hope you all know your stuff. Here's a quiz just to make sure. Hey, Magnus. Oh, fuck, why me? Between paper bills and coins, which one is issued by the government? I think I actually remember this one. I think it's coins. But let's check my math, just to be sure. Let me grab my stuff here. Okay, there. Now I'm back at the top. 
And this is June 15th. Oh my god, I remembered correctly. It was coins. This is it. Exactly. That's right. Paper bills are printed by the bank, and coins are issued by the government. Originally, the government made both coins and paper money. However, with the ability to make as much money as they wanted, the economy fell into chaos. An independent organization, namely the Bank of Japan, has been tasked with printing paper money since. I mean, I guess that makes sense. It's sort of checks and balance system, but can you really... I mean, I guess it's probably a public office, not like a private bank that has this power, but an actual public office that gets people appointed to it. But I digress. Well, he actually knew that? Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his notes. It's the same shit. I'll take my knowledge point, though. Thank you. Coins, which don't have as much of an effect on the economy, are still uh, produced by the government. You simply can't trust a moron to look after your finances. The best they can manage is pocket change. Imagine all the money you could ever want at your feet. Not the next palace is somewhere awesome like that. Well, we'll have to see. Yeah, it's raining. I could get some pretty good stat points. Hey, I see Lady On is going to talk to Ida. We're going to back her up, right? No, I'm going to actually go off and do my own thing today. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You know what? This is a catchy, right? Everyone here is definitely on the Akechi bandwagon. They even gave him all those nice sparkles. Oh, I think we already read that, actually. Yep, sorry. I didn't mean to walk through you. Guys, the classroom is haunted. The classroom is haunted. I just walked through some girls that I thought were talking there. No one's no one's gonna react. Okay, I'm I'm not crazy. You're crazy. And so I really need some money right now. Can you tell me about this easy part-time job? I'm sure you know about it, Ida Kun. Please. <sighs> she don't need my help. A girl like you could probably get a job anywhere, right? Oh no. Huh? Didn't consider that. Fuck. Um, now that you mention it, yes. Oh god, she's floundering. So, um, what I mean is, this is going south fast. Yeah, no, this is this is becoming a disaster. Uh, oh, Francois. Huh? My cat Francois got run over by a car and also has an incurable <laughs> illness. I need money fast. Oh no, poor Francois. Not overrun over by a car, but also has an incurable illness. Will the pain ever cease for poor Francois the cat? That's not convincing at all. Or is it? Is she talking about me? I mean, loosely, I suppose. Uh, if Francois were to die, I think I'd die too. Probably. Come on, don't talk like that. That probably is what sold it. <laughs> if you don't like it, then tell me about that easy part-time job. You know something, don't you? I've heard the rumors. Rumors? Was it Nishiyama who... Nishiyama? Oh, uh... Hey, what was that about Nishiyama? That's... She actually got the momentum back. She's not acting anymore now, is she? No, and honestly, that's working in our favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's leave this guy to Lady On and go look for that Nishiyama fellow. Alright. You got this on. <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. You heard nothing. Do you have a minute? Uh, sure? You're looking for something, right? I want to help you out, so please ask me anything. Um. You know where Nishiyama is? Nishiyama? He usually hangs out with Ida. Oh, so you want to ask him about Ida? So that's why Takamaki-san was chasing him. Yep. I'm sorry. I don't know where he is right now. Well, he thanks anyway. He stays till late, so I think he's probably still somewhere in the school. That does not narrow it down in the slightest, but thanks, I guess. I'll keep digging around while you're looking for him. Well, I guess we can let him handle this. We'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Oh, shit, I accidentally skipped his dialogue. 
I'll have to ask someone else about Nishiyama's whereabouts. Can you think of anyone who might know? Her, but I'm going to the library first. If you'll let me. Will you let me? Damn. to sit down and read now. Save that for later. <laughs> Killing me, Morgana. All I wanted to do was to return the book. Makoto would know, right? Hey, Makoto. Hmm. Or, I was going to ask you something, but are you okay? What's wrong? It's nothing. I was just looking at the bulletin. By the way, Anyway, how's the investigation going? Don't believe there's much time left at this point. Do you have any info? Sorry. <laughs> well, you mean about the bulletin? Sorry, but there's nothing I can say to you right now. Anyway, this is a very important matter for our school. You can return with good news. And don't worry, I'll keep my promise as long as you uphold your end of the bargain. I mean, I was going to ask you if you knew where... Shit, I've already forgotten his name. Nishiyama was... I, I need him for part of the investigation, but you know what? It's, it's fine. I'll, I'll work this out on my own. And by work this out on my own, I mean, I'm going to ask the newspaper girl who would know. That means, goodness, President Nijima keeping an eye on you? Why do you say that? Student council's on edge. Hurry up, do you have anything you want to ask about? Nishiyama. Nishiyama-kun, are you looking for him? He's a really serious student with a great- Oh! Thank you for the follow, Zamora. 464, uh, 4646. <laughs> He's a real serious student with great grades. I always see him at the library after school. Oh my god, I went to the right area by accident. Library's just up one f uh, on the floor above. Uh, fumble. The library's just up on the floor above this one. Why don't, you go, why don't you go talk to him? I shall. Thank you, newspaper girl, who unfortunately didn't get a name. Okay, seriously, I'm pretty sure the school is haunted. That's the second time I walked through people. So anyway... <sighs> fine, Morgana, you win. I will continue my investigation. Nishiyama, that's me. You're... That transfer student, right? You need something? Yes, I am that transfer student, and I do need something. Uh, what's this about a job? Job? Uh, are you talking about that one time? I, I, I don't know. I said I didn't want to do it. That's something, Ida. Wait, are you doing something, Am? He's been acting really strange lately. I am not doing something to him. I'm just curious about this job. I want to help him. What do you mean? Is he really wrapped up in something shady? I think so, yes. Give me more details. One day, the two of us went to Shibuya, and a man approached us over near Central Street. He asked if we were interested in an easy part-time job. I said I wasn't, but Ida was into it. He was asking the guy all sorts of questions. What was the job? I, I, I don't know. I was so scared, I ended up going home alone. I mean, you just left your friend there, huh? It takes 10 minutes, and is good for people who don't stand out. Uh, anything else? He just started spending a lot of money. That's when his strange behavior began, too. But that's all I know. That's enough, right? I think so. A man on Central Street, huh? That is suspicious. Maybe he was making him commit crimes? Maybe. Oh, hold on, I got peas. Have you found out anything, Draco? I've tried looking into this high-paying part-time job myself. People seem to be talking about it here as well. Supposedly, a man will talk to you in broad daylight over on Central Street. And your job is to deliver a small envelope that he hands you. Well, I will contact you again if I learn anything more. You learned the same thing I did, but you learned more. Well done, Yusuke. But that means this part-time job is somehow crime-related. I mean, not necessarily. It's just hand an envelope to someone. 
Could it be crime related? Yes. Is it probably crime related? The answer is also yes. It takes 10 minutes, is good for people who don't stand out, and involves a small envelope. Does that ring any bells? It's something the Mafia would definitely be up to. Murder. Dun dun dun. Prostitution. Probably not. More than likely drugs. Like illegal drugs? No, like legal drugs you get over the counter. Yes, illegal drugs, Morgana. Come on. Try to keep up. That definitely fits with a small envelope. And you can get arrested just for possession. Nope, hold on, I got more peas. Did you meet Nishiyama? Well, I looked into Ida on my own anyway. Rumor has it, he got involved into some kind of suspicious part-time job. That job's apparently totally insane. Something about trafficking drugs, I think? Wow, you just found- oh. Shit, Mishima's good. Fuck. Here they ask you to take part- uh, take part in it down in, on Central Street, in broad daylight even. Still he is smuggling. This won't be pretty. Come on, let's go back to Lady On. We'll ask Ida directly. Alright. To the classroom. Oh, you're still talking to him, Ryan. Huh, Good for you. Please tell me about the job, or else my beloved principal. She's still doing that? Alright, take over for her. Listen, Morgana, if it works, it works. Ahem. Tell us the truth. Uh, Magnius? Come on, you two. I already told you I don't know. Nishiyama told me everything. He did? If you already know about it, fine. I don't want to talk about it here. Let's go somewhere a little quieter. Like where? The roof is unlocked. We could do that. Oh, or just What's above, up, you? up to the roof. Especially in front of everyone. I have no shame. When you become a pariah, you don't really have to give a fuck about what other people think of you. Yeah, I got a job. So what? Isn't that normal? Dude, are you still being cagey? I know everything. Just give me the bits I don't know. What are you getting at? <laughs> You're a tutor. You're a pizza smuggler. The most dastardly of crimes. You're drug smuggler. You're, you're smuggling drugs. <laughs> How did you? I've only told one person about that. I know. And I asked that person. I literally just talked to you about this. All people. I can't believe you were the one to find out. I am very good at sleuthing. I'll have you know. Also, I have a network of people, so. You know, it's mostly that I have a network, but it's fine. You're right. They told me they had an easy part-time job for me, and I ended up smuggling drugs. All I had to do was put envelopes into coin lockers, and they said they'd give me a hefty paycheck. I Did didn't they? know what was in the envelopes, though. Still, this is what came out of it. Are you being threatened? So you knew, huh? They started threatening me right after they deposited the money into my bank account. They had pictures of me carrying the goods. They said they'd expose what I did unless I paid them off. You know? Why are you even asking me this stuff? Are you just gonna use my job to blackmail me too? I would never. Never. I see. I'm just trying to help a fellow student, my guy. Well. Even if you were planning on doing that, I don't have any money I could give you. They stop paying you? really interested in that job. Try heading over to Central Street. I mean, with the glowing review you just gave it, I'm sold. I'm gonna start peddling drugs. That's where they told me about it. I, I told you everything you want to know, right? Can I go? Well then. Yeah, you can go. Oh, got more peas. How'd it go? Did Ons acting help at all? I'm thinking probably not. Oh, hey, thank you for the resub, Robo. How it goes? It went perfectly, I think. More importantly, were you able to find anything, Draco? It's drugs. So they ask you to deliver drugs. This is serious. I just searched up for Shibuya drugs and got a ton of hits, too. 
So they're making people traffic drugs and threatening them. That must be what I heard people talking about in Shibuya. They seem to be going about this quite openly during the daytime. What a bold methodology. I would have imagined they would do it at night. I wonder why they chose the day. Because police would be more active at night. It's actually easier doing it in the day, even though other people will see they're being brazen about it. Or that, they go for high schoolers. I see. Yes, more students will be out during the day, while police will be more cautious at night. Yep, see? Tired, long day. Ah, robot. Same. I didn't get home until like 10.30. Anyway. <clears throat> Ryuji, you're over in Shibuya now, right? Do you see anyone like that there? Yeah, I'm at Central Street. It's tough to tell, though. I mean, there's just way too many people. The goddamn rain's not helping out, either. The sun will be setting soon. What should we do, Draco? Uh, let's do this tomorrow. Hopefully the weather will be better. Yeah, that seems like our only choice now. We can split up uh, We can split up and search separately, then. In any case, we have some new intel. Let's call that progress for today. Whoever asks us to take on that job should know who their boss is, too. All right, I'll get in touch with you guys later tonight, and then we can come up with a plan. If it's still raining in the evening, I'm going to the... Yeah, I'm going to go to the, the uh, bathhouse. I thought I actually had a customer, but it's just you. I never get too many customers when it rains. The cash, uh, cash register is going to run dry at this rate. Oh, hold on, I got peas. We have to find them tomorrow, for sure. This is the only lead we have right now. Yes, it's highly likely that this part-time solicitor is somehow related to the Mafia. If we tail him, he might lead us straight back to his boss. He talked to Ida and Ni Nishiyama over Central Street, right? Indeed, it seems that's where our target waits. But then, who should be the one to go... Morgana, I choose you! <laughs> it's not a bad idea. Nine lives, right? Morgana can just spare one for this. Wouldn't the Mafia get caught off guard if they had a cat coming to deliver drugs for him? In other words, Draco will be going. I have no objections. Ah, shit, I should have said Ryuji. Tricking people and using, uh, using that as blackmail. These bastards are true cowards. It's kind of scary to think people like that are all around the city. Well, guys, we gotta brace ourselves. We're up against a serious criminal here. <clears throat> Damn it, Kawakami. That's very tempting. I could get more stat points. Uh, the Kawakami. I'll just add this. Oops. Okay. Do I have a temperance? I do. Genbu is temperance. So I could be in a good position. Oh, this is tough. This is really tough. Okay, but I see no one would expect the cat to exactly. That was my thought process for sure. Tell you what I'm gonna do because I'm uncertain what I want to do here. I'm going to flip a coin. Heads, we go with Kawakami. Tails, I go to the bathhouse to get more charm points. Heads, Kawakami it is. Honestly, that's probably the better decision if I'm being 100% honest. No one expects the intelligent drug runner cat. Oh wait, I should read her text message. I'll provide you with some calories, Master. It's Becky, the delivery maid. The maid's cooking option includes together with a maid. It's on sale. With the request fee, it's only 5,000 yen. Oh, wow, that's the normal fee. Feel like you can become closer with Kawakami thanks to the temperance persona, Genbu. Feel like my bond with Kawakami will grow stronger soon. 
Accept the Kawakami's deal. Be sure to accept her invitations until you gain her trust, okay? I'll request her. Also, I'm gonna have to grab her guide. Where is it? Here I'll wait. Mm. The shapeshifter. Pose masquerade. Let's see. This is rank three, I believe. Yeah, this would be rank three. <clears throat> I'd like a delivery. What? Seriously? Oh, I'm so happy! Okay then, please wait for me with an empty stomach, Master. Master? Well, did you enjoy the maid cooking and together with the maid services I provided today? A high end cup of noodles really do make a difference, don't they? You're not that good at cooking, are you? Do some real cooking. So, both of these are for two points. You could either choose, yeah, they do, or do some real cooking. I'm gonna be nice. Yeah, they do. <laughs> I thought you'd agree, Master. They are pretty complicated, though. It says to drain the hot water once and leave the sauce packet on the lid so it gets warm. Don't request me if you're going to complain. I wasn't complaining. Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me to... You literally asked me to. Madam. You literally asked me to. The fuck? None of these are worth points, so go with your favorite. I was curious. Hmm, are you sure that's really the reason? Yes. As far as you know. Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain since I'm making money from it. Exactly. Ugh. I'm so tired. We had a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they have to last so long? Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really restless lately. I was going to apologize, but it's not really my fault now, is it? Sorry, bad habit. Anyway. The teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. I wish they talked more about our bonuses instead. They might even cut the teachers' salaries. I'm so sick of it. Teachers really don't get paid enough. I'll request you more often, then. We're three points. The others are worth nothing. Really? I'll continue to serve you with all my might, Master. Uh, I'm going to be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Oh, you got peas. Hello? How much? I can't... Uh, yes, but... That... That's true. Er... Yes, yes, I understand. It's my responsibility, after all. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. Don't overdo it. Uh, apparently, some crazy incur—it's some crazy incurable disease. So there's a lot of fees and extra charges. That's why it would really help if you requested me more. Oh, never mind. You're my student. I can't keep relying on you. Uh, what am I going to do? Anyway, it's time for me to go. Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through the maid service. I live close by, so I can stop over whenever you need me. Excuse me. Besides, I'm worried about uh, that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents. Oh, that's so sweet. 
I mean, I'm learning from, you know, Sojiro downstairs how to make curry, but apart from that, I can't really cook much. Oh, and if your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. There's a back way here? I feel Kawakami's kindness. We have... Rank 3. Housekeeping. Allows you to request Kawakami to brew coffee and to do your laundry. Sick. Well, now I can check the laundry. All right. Oh, right. I forgot to mention that the last choice, all of them were zeros. Rank 3. Arcana Burst. Housekeeping. You can now hire Kawakami to help at home by brewing coffee or doing laundry. She will help you save time. This isn't how this is supposed. it was supposed to go. In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. I need to get requested more. Good night. Good night, Kawakami. Just easy. Oh, is this master? I thought you'd be using our service today. Wasn't my meal so delicious? Did you taste all the love I put into it? But you can't just eat a eat cup of noodles, right? You need a balanced, nutri uh, balanced nutrients. Maybe next time you can try some of my homemade cooking instead. Ah, nice fun. Seriously, though. You're still young, so you really need to eat properly. Thanks. You can thank me once you start making actual improvements. Yes, Mom. I mean, you're so very welcome. Um, I know this is kind of silly, but you really need to eat healthy, okay? I mean, considering how much you spend on requesting me, you can probably afford some good food. Well, I hope you request me again sometime. Bye-bye! Bye. Becky, right, on the phone, with the maid service. Becky. <laughs> so humid. Ugh, it's so stuffy in this bag. Wait, I could cook? Or Kawakami could cook? Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Because I, I mean, I don't think we've gotten to the point where Sotaro gives us the ability to cook curry, but that's on the docket. I mean, he makes curry, and we're learning how to make coffee from him, so why wouldn't we learn curry, right? Shady Drug Dealings in Shibuya. Is the same organization behind both this and the extortions? Alongside the phishing scams that have been on the rise, this may be their source of funding. Restaurant Factory Fire. Workers from the restaurant Giant... Hanariua was arrested for arson. Though he admits to the charges, he claims not to know why he did it. This industry is raising eyebrows. Mm. Oh yeah, something weird happened in the foods in food services before, right? Some employee cooking naked? With all these extortions and scams, this world's really messed up. Yeah. We'll be fucked. Oh, Kawakami. I mean, apparently not. She just made cup of noodles. But, oh, wait. Hold on. She said homemade no cooking. Kidding. You're right. Theoretically, she could have. She just chose not to. Interesting. I saw Nijima arguing with the principal about the mafia or something. What was that all about? I hear her older sister's involved with the investigation. Maybe she's trying to play detective, too? Are you kidding me? I can't handle a student council president with no focus. Well, Kawakami's overworked, of course. Okay, we're all here. We sure are. There sure are a lot of high schoolers during the day. They must be targeting them somehow. Finding the specifics may be difficult. With such a crowd, the odds are against us. Mm. Well, we have to do this. Right. We're gonna grab him by the tail. 
You should head over to Central Street, like we planned yesterday. Draco. Sweet, let's get going. Let me know if you find any shady people. Will do. You do too. Alright, let's go. Just as we planned. We might end up running into the Mafia. Be ready for anything. Right. Damn it. Oh, hey Makoto. Are you spying on us? Hello. Are you investigating here with your friends today? I hope something comes of it. I'll be counting on you. Mm. Is she following us? Nah, that can't be. So, like, I don't know if it's in this game or not still, but, like, I recall, like, if you go to the hideout, Makoto will be watching you with a magazine in front of her face, super obviously spying on you. Once again, nothing to report. There are many people falling victim, yet no perpetrators. They appear and disappear as they please. Not only that, but they can blend in with normal teenagers. Stop complaining. We don't try get uh if we don't try getting information, people will say the police are useless. Maybe if you weren't wearing your police uniforms, you'd have an easier time hunting these people down, you know, go undercover. Not that I would know or anything. You're the police officers. The media are already on our cases. The higher ups aren't doing a thing. This is bad for morale. Aren't you interested in all the hottest brand names? We're having a special sale just over there. How about you go take a peek? We ordered way too much, so I have a ton left over. My boss will kill me if I go back to him with all these extras. Look, I'll sell them to you for cheap. What do you say? What should we do? It depends on the price, wouldn't you say? Hey, what about you? These are unforgettable deals. I'm good. Uh, sorry. Not interested. Well, that's disappointing. Come back if you change your mind. Come on, the shop's right around here. How about you come take a look? This seems sketchy as fuck. Seems like some kind of sale. You probably shouldn't bother. They're having a sale. Sorry, couldn't resist. Dokebon Kingdom reference. Hmm. Well, nothing's going on down in this area. Hmm? hmm? Hey, old timer, would you know anything? What's wrong, kid? Don't see guys like me very often. Are you part? Are you in the mafia? Hey, old timer, quick question: Are you in the mob? I want a part-time job. Hmm, is that supposed to be some kind of password? I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't been here long. Try talking to someone else. Introduce me. It ain't so easy. I only know one guy around here. Sometimes I see him in the alley across the way, but I don't think he's there today. He might be near the station. Go there if you want to see him. I see. Hmm. Maybe this other person would know something. Apparently he's near the train station. So let's go take a look over there. Excuse me, pardon me. Alright, well, to the train station. Oh god, the ghosts are here in Shibuya too! Look at these tourists. With their no eyes and their selfie sticks. Oh, hold on, I got Pete. Miss President's here! I walked past her at the station. I walked past her in Central Street and I see her again here. Is she keeping an eye on us? Maybe. I guess she's curious about all of this. Well, let's just ignore her if she's not getting in our way. More importantly, everything's in your guys' end. Nothing so far. I'm going to try staking out the underground walkway. And I'll check, uh, check around the Inogami line. I guess I'll get there from underground. We'll gather some more intel on the underground shopping mall as well. Please continue in your end, Draco really going about this seriously they're definitely worthy of being phantom thieves you agreed behind either let's look for that homeless man all right hello again Makoto oh. you seem to be working hard did you find any clues you know I have actually I'm looking for someone 
Hmm, you're trying to find a homeless person? That's a good idea. They do know a lot about what goes on in this town. I haven't seen any here, but I would bet there are some in the underground area. Hmm. Underground? I don't like the idea of it, but we should check it out. Did I get a lottery ticket at some point? I feel like I did. Oh, you know what? Fair. Come on, man. Hmm? Well, I got to Shibuya just fine. But there was a homeless guy out where we were supposed to meet. I had to run away from him. Yeah, when you go down the stairs, out of the jail gate, and in the square right now, I was so afraid. He was sitting by the wall. Yeah, huh? It's not like he has to play, he's just a homeless man. Seriously? That's the underground mall. I don't want to go there. Hmm. If I were a homeless man in the subway, where would I be? Hey, Ryuji. Yo. Yo, you made it. So did you find anything out? One explanation later. So you're telling me we're supposed to be getting info from a homeless guy? Well, I think I've seen one underground, right near the construction area? The construction area. Thanks, dude. Construction area. Construction area. If I were in construction area, where would I be? Well, there's on. Well, it's not this way, I can tell you that much right now. Um... I'm trying to remember where that construction area is. Excuse me, ghosts coming through. It's not over here. There he is. What's with that scary look on your face? If you have something to say to me, just say it. I want a part-time job. A part-time job? I'm not talking about some ordinary job, huh? Take my advice. Don't do it. They'll squeeze every last penny out of you with threats and extortion. Some of my friends have fallen victim to their schemes. That mafia's evil, I tell you. What? The mafia evil? But I thought the mafia were such upstanding gentlemen. And ladies, I guess. How do I meet them? They'll come to you eventually. If you walk around this area, uh, if you walk around this area around now, but just so you know who to avoid, I'll teach you how to tell them apart from normal people. They use some weird phrases. Code words, you know? That's how they communicate with each other. Anyway, watch out if you hear any of that stuff. I'll try to come for you, even during the day. They're relentless when it comes to targeting teens. The Mafia Shady? Who would have guessed? I know, it's inconceivable, but apparently it is so. How's it going? Have you found out anything? Uh, maybe a little. Ah, so you've grabbed something already. That's to be expected of someone like you, Draco. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, it was a compliment, I guess, but... What's that supposed to mean? Why don't we just go over the intel we've gathered so far? I'll start. Supposedly, some guy near the access way talking about some kind of strong drugs. I'm not counting on anything, but I'll go check it out. That's for me, I heard about someone soliciting a high-paying job in the Station Plaza. Apparently they're mostly targeting girls. I'll go see, uh, see what it's about. It's probably some, like, hostess thing or modeling or something. On my end, I heard that there are people saying strange things in the back of the alley near the arcade. Something about ice and vegetables? And something about snow tomorrow. I will go observe just in case. The arcade is in Central Street, correct? Alright. We should do what we can to help them out. I have no idea which of these leads are real. Try going to the most suspicious sounding place. Well, I think the thing Yusuke was talking about was a fucking snowman. They're gonna make a snowman. What was Ryuji's thing? Uh Supposedly some guy near the access way is talking about some kind of strong drugs. The access way. 
the access way. Which way is the access way? If I were an access way, where would I be? Hmm. Is it here or is it a different location? Where in the world is Ryuji? Hmm. No, that's down to the train. I don't need the train. Oh, never mind. It's a person on the phone. I thought for a second that person was just like making the phone sim the phone thing with their hands talking to themselves I'm like oh my god this man has lost his mind um hey, wait. hey that's not the right way make sure you know where you're going okay Morgana I have no idea where I'm going I think I know how to maneuver this nonsense okay well now we're at the mall is the mall where the access way would be would this be where any of them are? That's back to the underground walkway. Um, what's over here? Also the underground walkway. I have no idea which way I'm supposed to be going to get to Ryuji. I'm back at the mall. Uh, what about the Ginza line gate? Is this anything? Hey, I found him! Um, you know what? I'm gonna take a quick break and head to the restroom. I think something I ate did not agree with me. I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hello, young man. Would you happen to know how I could board the Inogami line? Uh... Go down those stairs, then turn left. Be careful, Granny. Shibuya is so complicated. These old bones don't move like they used to either. How troubling. Ah, come on. Oh, oh Draco. Sorry, my lead didn't end up being anything. That dude at the stairs pretty uh that dude at the stairs pretty misleading, huh? Sheesh. Oh, uh, what about Ana and Yusuke? You should go check on them. Hey, Granny, you okay? You're looking pretty shaky, so I don't mind giving you a hand. Oh, that's sweet of him. Anyway, let me see. Uh, where was Ons? We'll do Yusuke's last. Uh, for me, heard about someone soliciting a high-paying job in the station plaza. Okay. Well, that's much more actionable. I know exactly where to go for that one. Oh, it's already... Oh, because it's cloudy. <laughs> wow, it's really dark out here. What's going on over here? 500,000 yen for just one video. You may get even get more if you're popular. I can do videos. Huh? You want to be in one of our videos? I guess I can't say there's no demand, but our company our company only hires girls, sorry. Damn. Oh well, guess I won't be in any porn today. Damn. Hey. Be in a video? What kind of job is that? Well, Morgana, you see, sometimes men and women get lonely. And horny. And when that happens, they need to take care of themselves. And if I explain any further, I might get banned. Due to Twitch TOS. So we're just gonna end right there. Though, I guess it doesn't have anything to do with drugs. It must not be him. I do like how his immediate response is like, Well, there isn't no demand, but we don't really go that route. <laughs> Sorry, Draco, there's nothing over here. Look, someone's asking about a video shoot over by the train, but I guess that's just, uh, that's for models? Yes, models on. And nothing else. Keep your purity. Actually, I don't give a shit. Go online and look up porn. You do you. I'm not your dad or mom or whatever. In any case, there's nothing, uh, they're not here. Go try seeing what Ryuji and Yusuke have. I already saw what Ryuji has. You were my second, so let's go behind the arcade. Hmm? Yusuke, are you okay? <sighs> I was simply wondering where the arcade is. I'll be going now. Arcade, you're a high school student, aren't you? Better not be looking for trouble. All kinds of shady activity happens at arcades. Really? What are you talking about? It's nothing more than a place you go to play games. So, nothing there, huh? I mean, I guess this is technically behind the arcade, but... Hey, hey you don't need to be in an arcade right now. Why don't you visit another time? Why don't you visit another time? Well... I mean, we've checked everywhere. We've come up short each and every time. Oh, hold on. Hello. Okay, Makoto, seriously. Like, I know you're invested in us solving this, but with how, how closely you're following me specifically, I'm just gonna start thinking you have feelings for me. Have you made any progress toward finding the boss? I'm working on it, woman. Jeez, stop micromanaging. Things are going well, I think. That's good to hear. Hey, you two got some time? I have a great job for you. And just like that, we've got a bite. All right, Makoto, play it cool. It's real easy. 
Guess you could call it a delivery job. A delivery job, you say? Well, golly! It seems we didn't have to look very hard in the end. Makoto, for fuck's sake, you're being a narc. Stop being a narc. You're high schoolers, yeah? Don't you want something more than just your allowances? Hmm. By delivery, do you mean that of suspicious material? Oh my god, Makoto, you're being a narc. Please stop. I can handle this myself. Huh. You're a funny girl. Isn't she? She's hilarious. Ha 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 ha. So anyway, about that about that delivery job of yours that's totally legal and has no problems. So, you won't answer me. Then I was right. Oh my god, Mark Makoto. Makoto, please. Huh? What's up with you anyways? Why are you asking all these questions, huh? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Violence is not the answer. Oh. It was all a joke. Why would I get worked up over some dumb kids? Right. Right. Anyways, I can't hang. See ya. Damn, I was really interested in that job of yours, but apparently. Um, if you don't want to deal with us, we could always go see your boss ourselves. Oh fuck, Makoto, you're really getting us in a bad situation. Really gonna say that, knowing who he is. I don't think she knows who he is. Please elaborate. No way I believe that. Well, I'm out of here. You guys are annoying me. Thanks, Makoto. You killed my lead. I'm pretty sure he's part of the mafia we're looking for. You think? You think? Oh, Makoto. Let's go after him. I think we should get some proof before we do that. No, that's fair. That is fair. <laughs> tried to trick him into saying something, but he dodged all the traps I was laying down. You tried to trick him into saying something? You were being the most obvious... That's your way of tricking... No. Makoto. Sweetie. No. You were not laying traps. You were being blunt and obvious with what you wanted. You gotta play it coy. You gotta pretend like you don't know what they're doing. And then they will slip something. By the way, thanks for standing up for me. <sighs> Don't mention it. I wouldn't feel right if you got... <laughs> if I was standing here doing nothing and you were in danger. This wouldn't be right. I I'm going to go now. Probably for the best. That boss seems tricky. It looks like he taught his subordinates well, too. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Also, we had the world's biggest narc with us, and that was just... God, it's like she's a cop. No wonder the police are having trouble catching him. Anyway, you have some serious guts. You didn't back down at all against that hooligan. Sure didn't. I should get some points for that, right, game? Though right? still didn't end up with any new information. Nope. Let's stop here for today. I mean, we sort of got something, but not enough. How about it? Want to meet up? Uh, let's do it. Do you think it's safe, though? We did ask tons of people, so there's a chance we're getting followed. Just to be safe, we should refrain from doing anything to make ourselves stand out. Oh, that's a good point. The sun will be setting soon, so let's disband for today and report on our findings tomorrow. Why don't we meet at karaoke tomorrow? We can talk in private, and it'll be cheap after school. Ah, oh, that must be what they call hustle hour. No, uh, ha happy hour. Yusuke, happy hour. Dude, it's muscle hour! Wait, is that wrong too? Um, hello? Happy hour? Muscle hour just sounds... sweaty. Anyway, see you guys at karaoke tomorrow. Oh, I got the peas. It's an unknown number. Huh? I don't usually answer unknown numbers. Hello, this is Nijima. Makoto, Nijima. How? Okay. Unknown number doesn't necessarily mean suspicious number. How did you get my number? Thanks for earlier. No problem. My question exactly, how did you get my number? I dug it up. 
I see. Cody, you're really not beating those into me allegations. I realize I'm apologizing after the fact, but it just didn't feel right keeping it from you, so... I mean, I appreciate that. That's all. Bye. Bye. That was fucking awkward. <laughs> you talking to a woman? I heard her voice. Yep. Pretty sure she's into me. But I could be wrong. I mean, she's just following me. Me specifically. Not just... Like, she's into me and my friends. For reasons I can't quite get into. But, like, she keeps following me specifically. So I get the feeling she's into me. But maybe I'm over... Maybe I'm just being a little big-headed about it. I don't know. Speaking of, some girl called looking for you around noon. Said she's the class president. I see. Said she's got something that belongs to you. And wouldn't you know it, that's who was talking to me right there? She seemed to know you, so I gave her your number. Well, that explains that, then. She must have looked up LeBlanc's address trying to contact you. I mean, yeah, that makes the most sense. I thought just as a student council president, maybe she had records or something. That Nijima sure is thorough. She sure is. Then again, she called you just to apologize. Yeah. It's a bit weird, but maybe she's not so bad after all. She's a bit awkward, but I think her heart's in the right place. Wait, it's raining. Oh, we could hang out with Sojuro and get an... Hmm. I didn't notice because the date was blocking his card. Do I have a Hierophant? I do. I have Ouroboros. Well then, let's hang out with Sojiro. Mm -hmm. Finally interested in coffee brewing? If you help, I can teach you. Be looking to become closer to Sojiro thanks to the Hierophant persona Ouroboros. And my bond will go stronger. Uh, where are we at with him? <laughs> Only a rank two. Okay, well then that makes this easy. We're at rank three. So, Jiro. I would have loved to go to the bathhouse for the stat points, but it's fine. Wait, I'm at the wrong one. We're at rank three. <clears throat> Let's help. Yeah. Then you clean up. I'm going to finish preparing the curry. All right, then. All right, that's it for tomorrow's curry. Hey, how's it going? You getting any better at remembering how to handle different bean types? Now then, there are three factors that determines the flavor for a cup of coffee. Grind, heat, and time. First up is the grind. For the siphons we have here, we're aiming for a medium fine. Are you listening to me? What grind are you supposed to be using? Dude, you literally just said it. I'm not so out of it that I forgot within, like, two seconds of you saying it. Medium fine. <laughs> Medium fine is the only one that gets you points, too. The others are zero, but if you want to be a smartass, anything goes. <laughs> Medium fine. Right. Keep up the good work. It doesn't net much profit, given the effort it takes, but hey, money is money. I'm not going to forgive you if you serve our customers crap coffee, though. Just remember that. Oh, yep, he's. Mm -hmm. Who could this be? Yes, hello? <sighs> How did you get this number? Now? Where? <sighs> Fine. Sorry. Something just came up. We can keep going with the lesson some other time. Is it trouble? What, are you worried about me? I mean, obviously. You are the one who's running the place that I live in. There's nothing you need to concern yourself over. Just do the dishes while I'm gone. Oh, and remember to shut off the gas before you close shop. It's nice having someone around to help me at times like this. 
Turns out you're actually a hard work, harder worker than I thought. Keep it up. Building my bond with Sojuro is growing deeper. Rank three. No ability, just burst. The rest is on you. Okay, I'm off. Don't eat all our food while I'm gone. That's gonna be tough, but I'll try. Can I eat the fridge as a whole? <laughs> oh, hold on, I got peas. Hey, you get everything closed up? Sorry about earlier. I had to take care of some business. But don't worry. I'll put you to work. We've got lots of time on our hands. So there's two options that will give you two points each. I'm ready to work and thank you in advance. I'm ready to work. Where to go, huh? Some work ethic you got there. Well, just make sure you turn off the stove before you head to bed. Oh fuck, I forgot to turn off the stove! Oh. Is it just me, or are there a ton of police here today? I've got a job you could do. Want to hear more? Another psychotic breakdown? Oh, you mean how they're increasing security in Shibuya? They're the scum of society. Hurry up and arrest them! June 17th, Friday. So, we meet again. But my, what murky weather we're having. Right? I feel like it's raining, like, 100% of the time. Speaking of murky, there haven't been any new developments in the Phantom Thief incidents. Yeah, there haven't, huh? Weird. If they go so far as using calling cards to get attention, I doubt Madarame's case will be the last. That is a valid point you bring up. I mean, obviously, if someone's doing using calling cards, it's not going to be a one-off thing unless they're stealing something of really great value. What kind of target will they choose next? What do you think? Hmm, what do I think? Well, I mean, I'd go with a criminal, I think. That seems to be their modus operandi. The Phantom Thieves only target criminals, huh? Is that really true? I mean, to be fair, we only have two instances to go off of at this time, Akechi, so... Like, there does appear to be a pattern, but two cases don't necessarily make a pattern, I, I admit. But if I had to hazard a guess, it seems like that would be the way it would go if I was supposed... If I needed to hazard a guess. Supposing it is, there are plenty of villains in the world. How do they choose who to go after? Hmm, I mean, there's no way we could really know that unless we had one here. Hmm. Right. Oh, sorry. I'm getting lost in my own head. No worries. Happens to me all the time. I have to stay on top of any Phantom Thieves activity due to what I said on the air. Yeah, you really, uh, really gun for if him, huh? Any rumors at school, I hope you can let me know. We'll do. We'll do, Catchy. I mean, that's not entirely true. I got something. Just, uh... God, they suck. Listen, that's just what you have to deal with going to karaoke. Sometimes people blow. Man, we're going nowhere with this. Hey, can't we ask Miss President to change it up? I don't think so. You mean, change our target? We just gotta show our justice to satisfy her, right? I don't know if that's gonna work, Ryuji. There are tons of shitty adults in this world. It's not like it matters who we're going after. She says this is for the students, but I bet it's just so she can go brag about it on college apps. I mean, that just doesn't seem fair, Ryuji. I mean, but that you don't know. Is stealing money from kids. Yeah, we can't just let them be. We can't just accept that. It doesn't matter who the target came from anymore. Han's right. We want to give courage to the weak. Isn't this the perfect target to accomplish that goal? Yeah. Have no talent. Wow, it's that bad, huh? I'm kind of happy I can't really hear them all that well. They're just off in the distance. Oh, never mind. I hear it now. Never thought it'd be this noisy if you weren't singing. 
Anyways, I'm sure we'll show to catch you up if we pull this off, but... I don't know about that, Chief. That's exactly why we should do it. It all comes down to intel in the end. If we don't start finding tips on that front, we'll never get any further than this. There has to be someone who has what we need. Someone think for me. Who could that be? Yeah, no way we just happen to know someone who'd... Oh, wait, that journalist! Oh, yeah! You mean the woman who was staking out Matarame's house? Oh, yeah! I completely forgot about her! Didn't she give you her card? You know she did. I just haven't really capitalized on that. I don't know, what was... I forget her first name, but I remember Ohia. The business card says Ichiko Ohia of Mayasa Newspaper. Ichiko Ohia. This is for a rather major publication. Think we can trust her? Mm, it's our only chance at this point. There's no other way. Okay, let's contact her. All right, probably gonna have to do some tit for tat. Do we have her on speaker? What the fuck is this? Oh yes, thank you. He says our time's up. Should we extend it? Happy hour's over, yeah. Ah, come on, let's just go. <sighs> How wasteful. <laughs> Are you okay, Yusuke? <sighs> Anyways, I guess we just gotta wait for that journalist to email us back. Oh, I just sent a text. Cool. Let us know ASAP when she responds. Got it? Draco? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Don't you worry. It's raining. Hey. You been coming home late. I hope you're not sticking your nose in other people's business. What? Me? Never. The Chief's as sharp as, up, as ever. But it's more like we're the ones being dragged into things. Yeah. Ooh. Hmm. Kawakami. Okay, neither of them are at the point where I can get them up. Mishima, I could get up. Could also go to the bathhouse. Hmm. Mm, indeed. I want to leave them alone for now. I don't know why I'm looking because they're not going to go up in rank, but it gives me an idea of what we're near, I suppose. Okay, so if I go with you, we can get access to curry next. If I go with Kawakami... I need to get two things to get that. So that one's really good. Hmm. We got three options. You know what? Fuck it. I want to go out to the bathhouse at least once during this rainy season. At least once. Oh, wait, I went too far. Whoops. I'm also going to have Kawakami do my laundry. City boots. City Yoshi whatever. Yoroshiro. City Chiyong Sam. Call Kawakami. Go ahead and call her then. Hi. Thanks for calling the. Wait, laundry? Did you really have to call me just for that? You said you would do my housekeeping. This is what I requested of you. Look, you're getting 5,000 yen regardless. I mean, that'll be 5,000 yen. There you go. There's your yen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to the bathhouse. Maybe relaxing at the bathhouse will help boost your charm. Mm. This steam is pretty intense. What do you want to do? Want to go refresh yourself with a bath that's 500 yen to enter? Let's go. It 
it's a bit too hot. I should get out before I get lightheaded. <laughs> Yamcha posed. Oh, you're so red. Are you okay? I'm burning alive. I know it feels good, but don't overdo it. Damn charm. To admit, pushing yourself that much is kind of impressive. Big point and guts, thank you. Hey! Getting the vapors. I didn't do this one yet. I got a chance to do it and I took it. Couldn't take the heat in the bath uh, the bathhouse. When you go on rainy days, the old people turn the heat way, to way up. It'd be nice to head home soon, but can you move? Give me a couple minutes. Cold floor feels nice. Makoto? I received a call from your school today. You were asking if you made any lifestyle changes recently. Huh? <sighs> I gave them a suitable enough answer, but is there some kind of issue at the school? No, it's nothing. I'm sorry to worry you. Hey. You've been coming home late these days. I doubt you would do such a thing, but try to avoid wandering around Shibuya late at night. I've heard stories of girls your age throwing their lives away out there. Getting wrapped up in shady deals, blackmailed into sex work. I've heard rumors about that as well. People have been mentioning it at school. These aren't mere rumors. I know of a few such cases. <sighs> well, it should it should be nothing for you to worry about. Just concentrate on your studies for now. <sighs> They're unforgivable. Thank you for waiting! Here you go! Cat Knight Color, Shigigami Dress, The Fairy Chion Sam, and an Old Ghastly Dress. Alright, I'll see you later. Bye, Kawakami. See you at school tomorrow. Yo, did that reporter get in touch with you yet? You only just emailed her the other day. Why are you so hasty? I don't know. I've been looking for info, but I can't find a damn thing. We only got two weeks left, man. Duh, we're in a hurry. To be more precise, it's ten days. We ain't gonna have much time, even if we start right after she responds. Looks like this battle will have to be a quick one, then. We must also consider that what we do in case she fails to respond entirely. Hey, don't jinx this! I'm merely discussing the all possible outcomes. Ain't you nervous about this? Nervousness will not help us solve anything at this point. Yusuke. Yusuke gets it. Were that the solution to our problems, I would be a much quicker to turn to panic. He's like some kind of philosopher. I think he's just an idiot. Reiji, I love you, dude, but come on. You know you're not that smart. Those in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Nijima Senpai, aren't you going to help me? You said you would keep it a secret, but rumors have started getting out. Wait, you didn't leak that information, did you? Calm down. They're still targeting you? Even that delinquent found out. He might try and threaten me too. Fucking rude, and I told you I wouldn't do that. It's fine. I'm not actually here. <laughs> Why is this happening to me? I can't afford to keep paying. I, I found some clues regarding your incident. I just need you to wait a bit longer. You're really gonna help? 
everyone thinks you're just doing it for a letter of recommendation. It's very that hurtful. That's not true. My goal here is to protect the students of this school. Please, please hurry. it has got a lot on her plate, huh? Well, then. we'll just have to wait for word. Let's just prepare the plan. Uh, prepare the plan in the meanwhile. Oh, hold on, I got peas. Sorry to bother you while we were experiencing, uh, while we were expecting information from that journalist. However, do you remember that thread about the group of burglars in Shibuya? It seems the one who posted about his brother is a student at my school. And after some prodding, I was able to pry a few more details out of him. Oh, right! I was actually wondering about that. It didn't sound like they had anything to do with the Mafia we've been chasing. Indeed, now, I was able to ascertain his brother's name. It's Kazuya Makigami. Dude, it's freaking crazy that someone involved in that shit goes to your school. Nice going, Yusuke! And we even found out the name of the guy we're looking for. That was super awesome! All we gotta do now is punish him in mementos. And this burglar guy isn't gonna be near as near scary as the Mafia. He's just a plain dude, right? We'll show him what being a Phantom Thief's really about. Seems we're unanimous, then. We can further discuss the details at the hideout. Hmm. You have our target. We also have to um, the Mafia to deal with, too. So make sure the timing is right. Anyway, let's meet up at the hideout when you're ready. Phantom Thieves vs. Burglary Ring. Well, first things first. I'll put on the Shikigami dress, reduces physical damage. Japanese style outfit made out of paper. Neat! Oh, the Cat Knight color is actually weaker than the one I have on him right now, the Mythical Scarf. Ah, well. Uh, the Fairy Chiong Sam, however, is better for On. A Chinese dress said to be woven by a fairy. Oh, whoops. No. Yes. The old ghastly dress can go to Yusuke, reduce physical damage. Confidant. Where is she? We already have her at rank 6. Oh, we can get the next one, though, if we get her up. <sighs> oh, that's really tempting. That's really tempting. Mmm. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is a tough decision to make. Like, we could go to Mementos. 100% we could. But I could get a discount on the healing items that I buy from her. And that's also really good. I mean, we're good on healing items at the moment, I guess? I could probably get some more stuff. So we got those, those... Hmm. Hey. You again? So, what are you here for? I am here to make a purchase. That's about the only thing I can sell to a kid. Okay. Sounds good. Hmm. Anything new that I want? No. Not in melee weapons. Oh, also right. I need to sell some treasure. Here, have all this shit. I don't need it. I don't need it. You can have this back. Okay. All right. Which one? Uh, the Makara Makara Nov. I don't need. It's more rounds, but less damage. Uh, let's see. Yeah, nothing. You really have nothing, huh? Nothing that I want at the moment. If you're done here, go home. This ain't no place for kids to be hanging around. Medicine is nearly complete. And there's something I really want to test out. Could you come to the clinic, my little guinea pig? I feel like I can come closer to Takami, thanks to death, uh, the Death Persona Mandrake. I feel like my bond will also increase. You can do. Want to hang out with Takami? Let's go. 
First things first, let me get her thing. Don't give me. Rank seven. Cool. <clears throat> Let's go. I'll be right there. That would really help me out. I reached a milestone thanks to you. Okay, I'll be waiting at the clinic. I suppose. Alright, that's it for today. Oh, are you going home already? You have some time. Why don't you stay and enjoy an apple? Well, an apple a day does keep the doctor away. So you know what? I won't have that apple. Because I want to be here. It's a gift from one of my elderly patients. She gave me a lot. Oh, well, never mind. Hello, Dr. Takami. Chief Oyamata. There was a medical conference nearby, so I thought I'd check up on you. Who is this? He doesn't look like a patient. Oh. He's a part-time staffer. I'm having him handle some miscellaneous tasks for me. So, do you have some business with me? I hear you stole one of my patients, a girl with bronchitis. She came here with her father. <sighs> bronchitis, you say? Well, I had no intention of taking her from you. I certainly didn't encourage her to visit my clinic. Now there's talk that the care at the university hospital is inferior to that of a general practitioner. Sounds like a skill issue. Get good. Original medicine. Ha! What you're doing here is simply absurd. You're right. I would have turned a blind eye if you just rotted away out here in this little town. But this is your final warning. Shut this place down and resign your medical license. This is harassment. What did you say? Oh, I forgot. All of these are guaranteed for two. I just called it like it is. Fucking bullshit is what it is. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Seem to be quite fond of her. Perhaps I should reveal this woman's true identity. She's a monster who tortured a patient with her unregulated medicine. Terrible, isn't it? She was such a brave girl, always smiling. What does this mean? Was? She passed she away. What the fuck? Apparently an ad just decided to play on the fucking site that I used for the fucking confidants. Get out of here. Fucking ads. Anyway. Way to kill the mood. What? Perhaps you'll suffer the same fate. Hmm. <laughs> she is the plague after all. Don't lie to me. She should still have some time. She was slowly recovering. Her condition couldn't have deteriorated that quickly. But it did. You must have misjudged. Now, back to the reason why I'm here. Don't ever take another patient away from me again. Well, then maybe again. Oh, Yamada, you should get good. You don't want to make me angry. Me with chance, Dad? No. No, no. She's all I've been working toward all this time. Curing her was my only. There's no way. None of these are worth points. Don't lose hope. <laughs> what have I been doing all this time? What was even the point? I can't... These are both worth two points. Anything I can do? No. 
I'll be fine. Sorry. I feel better now. Thanks for your help, my little guinea pig. I I'm not blushing, you're blushing. My bond has grown deeper. Death rank 7. Discount. Decrease the price for all items sold at the clinic. All right. Rank 7. Arcana Burst. Discount! I don't know what to say. Uh, I wish I hadn't shown this... Uh, you this... Uh, that, that bumble. Uh, I wish I hadn't shown you that side of me. Four... Apparently, the answer that's worth three points is we all do sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. I guess it's fi fine once in a while. I'm glad you did was worth two points, by the way. Go on home for today. We'll continue this another time. I feel like cooperating with that shady clinical trials increased my guts. By exactly a point. <laughs> Ooh. Take care. Do talk to me. Huh? The journalist responded to me. The crossroads bar. This is from that journalist, right? She wants to meet you there now? I mean, sure. Looks like this crossroads place is in Shinjuku. A meetup in Shinjuku. Sounds good. That's the spirit. Try not to freak out just because Shinjuku's the nightlife district, okay? Look, I have self control, Morgana. I think I can handle the fucking red light district. You should send everyone a message and let them know what you're up to. Yep. Yes, indeed, you do. Shinjuku at night, eh? Sounds rather dangerous. Where should we meet up? Stand by, on. It'll be easier to move around with less of us. My apologies, I don't have the money to take the train there. And you're on standby, too. Me and Draco will go, okay? Got it. Draco's going, I guess there's no need to worry. We'll leave it to you, then. Well, I guess that's that. Let's meet in Shibuya. Be careful, you two. I'll be the most careful. There will be no other people more careful than me. I shall be sure to save money for situations like this from now on. Wait, are you gonna go in your school uniform? Uh, probably not a good idea. It would be bad for you to stand out. You should change before you go. Yeah, that's a good point. Thanks, Morgana. Uniform? Oh my god. I mean, to be fair, I was also in my uniform, but I changed out of it. <laughs> huh? No choice. I didn't have the time to go home. Okay. People aren't gonna notice anyways with this t-shirt over it. I mean, I guess. It's just plaid pants. Uh, I guess that's true. Idiots. I'm just saying now, I won't be to blame when you get caught by the cops. Listen, Morgana, I'm not dumb. I'm just saying, in the worst case scenario, what, are we gonna wait for him to go home and change? Nuh-uh. Don't worry about it. That place ain't so different from Shibuya. I'll guide ya. If we're going to Shinjuku, we should probably hop on the JL. Just get out of this building, and then the ticket gate should be on the right. It's go time. All right. Is this really going to be okay? We're gonna, you have no faith. Alright, so head to the jail ticket gate. Huh? You sure? That one's for the Gains Alliance. The ticket gate for the jail is downstairs. R right, yes, totally. That was a test, and you passed, Ryuji. Congratulations. Um, JL ticket line. Ah, JL, okay. 
this one? Yeah. Alright, let's head to Shinjuku. Shinjuku, a hot spot of Tokyo known for its nightlife and downtown shopping. Bars open to minors. Even if you're not old enough to drink, you are welcome to sit and chat. Oh, well right. that's nice. Hey. Shinjuku's outside the area where your commuter pass works, right? You'll have to pay the fare. Oh no. A dollar sixty. What is the world coming to? Even at night, this place is bright as hell. I guess that's Shinjuku for you. Hey. Stop looking around so much. You look like a tourist. Whoa. I, I was just trying to find that place we're looking for. First Road's bar is right up ahead, I'm sure. Or, er, right up ahead. I'm sure we'll get there if we keep going straight. Welcome to our Izakaya. How about some all-you-can-drink booze on the cheap? Wait, you're underage. Is that a problem? <laughs> so you're just a kid. Get out of here, you're in the way. The hell? You're the one who's all waiting to talk to us. Want to talk to us, rather. Huh, what's that? Creepy. It's creepy is what it is. Anyway. <laughs> Hey, you want to come play? Got you all you want. No added fees. We have the cutest girls in town, too. Wait, really? Tell me more. <laughs> Did you really just ask that? Listen, I'm curious. Just ignore that guy, you idiot. No matter what way you cut it, he's a shady character. Y yeah, I guess. Oh, ghosts. The ghosts are here. Oh, well, there's a bookstore here. Oh. Bookstore? Whoa, why do I feel weird going in there? Probably because it's porn mags, I'm guessing. Maybe they got some cool stuff to read. Want to check it out in a bit? Hey. You don't have time for that right now. Save it for later. Meeting with the journalist comes first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, we'll go here some other time. Right. That's cute. Anyway. You have a moment? Sure. Are you a student? You shouldn't be out this late. What are you, my mom? I'm an adult, sir. Yep. Uh, people mistake us all the time for younger kids, though. Oh, yeah, we look really young for our age. It's kind of a hassle. Hmm? Are you a friend of his? Wait a second. I've seen the pattern on those pants before. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe on the news. Oh, yeah. It was on that segment about the teacher who was harassing kids. Look, that's just a very popular pattern. Is that a school uniform? No. Shit. <sighs> Hold on, let me grab one of the smoke bombs. You kids have got to be high schoolers. Come with me. Shoot. This is why I said uniforms were a bad idea. And you were right, Morgana. Let's run! Cheese it! <laughs> How much longer until we get there? Hey, it ain't our fault we had to deal with that detour. Our school's getting real famous. Ryuji, I'm gonna be real with you, man. This was 100% on you because you didn't change out of your school uniform. Huh? Excuse me. Yes? For the blonde one, I can sense impending woman troubles. Or perhaps it's something else in any case horrible disaster is coming for you please let me examine your future further i mean kind of in the middle of something but maybe i'll brain check what me yes i suggest you get your fortune told what i say will surely come to pass uh, more of this shit sorry but we're in a hurry and i don't really believe in that stuff anyways man why do you hate fun ryuji I see. My apologies. No worries, ma'am. However, if you change your mind, I'll be waiting here in this spot at night. Is that so? May your fortunes be well. And also yours. 
just checking how much money I had. So, uh, I'm sure this won't surprise anyone, she is a confidant. And she is one of the most important confidants for you to have. Especially if you're trying to get rank 10 in everything, like oh, I am. Man. We ain't old enough to hang out here. You sure this is the place? It says crossroads right on the front. Beer, whiskey, wine. Looks like nighttime is bar time. Going in our uniforms is probably a bad idea. We got caught last time, too. Yeah, Ryuji. That would be a bad idea if I was in my uniform, but I'm not. You are. Just wait outside. <laughs> I came all the way to Shinjuku and can't even go in? Look, man. This is on you. Ugh, fine. I'll kill time somewhere nearby. Just let me know when you're done. Will do. I'll let you know if I need assistance. Welcome, welcome. Lala Escargo. Old, are you, boy? old enough. Sorry, Lala Chan. He's with me. Ooh, you picked up a real young one this time. Just don't let a minor drink alcohol, okay? <laughs> Lala Chan, I'm gonna borrow the seats in the back. Go on back there. I'll treat you to some water. Oh boy, water. Not even juice, huh? I mean, it's fine. I mean, I just figured this being a bar, you'd have some way to mix drinks and juice and be like, you know, it's fine. I'll have water. Ah, <laughs> oh, she reeks of booze. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a surprise. I thought you were joking, yet here you are. Wow, you are lit up, aren't you? <laughs> I respect that bravery, so I'll listen to what you have to say. Well, what do you want to know? Why Shibuya is dangerous? Oh. Why that? This seems a little too forward. I have business there. Hmm. Well, I do happen to know something about that. I could tell you, but... Do you know the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? You know, that case the public has been focused on lately. Uh, I believe they're called the Dragon Wings. I was pursuing the issue of people randomly entering into a shutdown state, but I'm lacking intel. That's why I'm currently looking for new material to write about. So, do you have any info on these Phantom Thieves? I might. Are those your terms? <laughs> Something like that. You're a Shujin kid, right? I remember you wearing their uniform the last time we met. You're very observant. I mean, you're a journalist. Of course you're observant. I thought maybe you might have some insider knowledge on the Phantom Thieves because of it. Hmm, that's sound reasoning. I might. Their first incident was that of Kamoshida, you know? I'm aware. Ideally, I'd like to get some exclusive coverage from a student who suffered Kamoshida's abuse. Well, you're in luck, it feels weird to say that, because I was a direct target. He was going to expel my ass. I would love an introduction if you know of someone who fits the bill. I could also, I guess, send in Mishima. Seems both you and I can't really do our stuff out in the open, so what do you say? Hmm. A student who suffered from abuse. I mean, Mishima really fits that bill better than I do. Oh, what about that Mishima guy? He always seems to be on the side of the Phantom Thieves. Yeah. Hey, Mishima, buddy. I need your help. I know someone. It's a deal, then. Send me your friend's contact info later. He's... Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna prepare you right now. When he hears a girl is going to talk to him, he might get a little... Well, he's a teenage boy. I'm sure you know what... I'm sure you understand. You'd better be thankful. My quick wit is the only reason we're getting this far. Morgana, I literally said Mishima after the... Like, not even two seconds before you. Now that I think about it, those mental shutdowns and the Phantom Thieves both seem supernatural. Could they be related? 
Or am I just hoping for a coincidence? I mean, maybe. Honestly, you might just be hoping for a coincidence, I'll be honest with you. Oh, sorry. I have a tendency to talk to myself on occasion. Yeah, it's fine. Oh yeah, I do it all the time. Sometimes recording it. You can't exactly consider this an upfront payment, but... Junya Kaneshiro. We have a name. I think he's probably the guy you're looking for. Yes! Oh, yeah, you have done me a great service today. You should check him out further if you're curious. But I'm not responsible for what happens next. Lala-chan, can I get a refill for this kid? I mean, I'm not done with the first water, but okay. We need to make a toast to our new acquaintance. Woo! It'll be a problem if you stay too long. You should leave right after you finish your water. I mean, yeah, that's fair. So, understandably, anyone yes. do. Ohia is also a confidant. If you're trying to get everything to rank 10, you're going to have to go through her confidant, but she's not the most valuable of the confidants. All you get from hers is you lower the security level when you first infiltrate a palace, which can be useful, but as you've seen for our playthrough so far, hasn't really been that much of an issue. Security level. All right, we did it. We finally got info on the target. Let's meet up with Ryuji. Oh, I got peas. How'd it go? Nailed it. For real? Awesome. Anyways, we should meet up ASAP. I'll be in front of that movie theater, so head on over. It's kind of open area you passed on your way to the bar. So we just have to go back the way we came, huh? All right, let's go. Let's go. What are the police doing? Isn't time like this we need them the most? All right. I'm a flower shop, eh? Look at all these flowers, soothe me. And anyway, let's meet up with Ryuji. Uh, fine. Where is... Oh, there it is. Cult 9. Tired of waiting. You get me dirt on our next target? I got his name. For real? Junya Kaneshiro? <laughs> Ryuji, again. Volume control. You just shouted that guy's name in the middle of the fucking red light district. Hey! Not so loud! Oh, yeah? Junya Kaneshiro. And enter. All right. There we go. Okay, now we just gotta get some info on the distortion. Once we know that, it's palace time. Wait. Let's try tomorrow. It'll be better when we have the whole team together. Right? I'll tell everyone to meet up in Shibuya. It's totally crazy though. It's a huge catch. I'm pumped. Oh, you're right. He would be a natural. But a graphic tee with plaid pants? Ugh, kill me now. Whoa, who the hell are they? Oh, hell has nothing to do with it, honey. I'm Angel. An, I'm Angel straight out of heaven. And I'm Julie. And Julie, if you're feeling saucy. What a cutie. You'd never guess he was into the drag scene. I say we show him the ropes. I don't know how you fucking got to that. Okay. You can't deny it. We saw you peeking into crossroads. Well, sweetie, if you're curious, we'll help you look divine. What, just because we went to crossroads and the bartender just happens to be in drag? Whoa. Wait, hey, it's not like that. Dude, help. Tell them we were just investigating or something. Knock him dead, Ryuji. <laughs> You're just gonna leave me here like this? Come on, your best friend's in trouble here! Yeah, but it's real- Ryuji, I understand that. But it's really funny, though. Oh, honey, you've got, got the chutzpah and those cheekbones. I love it. That's what it takes to be a star. Just follow my lead, stud. We're gonna put your name in lights. 
and I know just the dress for you. Um... Well, uh, hopefully Ryuji finds his calling, or at least makes a makes out alive. Godspeed, Ryuji. Good luck to you. Hey, there's nothing else for us to do here, right? Let's head home for the night. But I wanted to shop. Did you find any clues? I have a name. You did it! Well then, let's meet up at the hideout tomorrow. Understood. Ryuji seems to be absent from this conversation. Should we contact him separately? I'm sure he'll figure it out when he checks his phone later. We're pretty much already in Kaneshiro's palace. Pretty much? That was surprisingly easy. <sighs> Shinjuku sure was crazy, huh? I would have loved to explore more, but a certain cat wouldn't let me. Oh, hold on, I got peas. Hey, some girl just messaged me saying you told her about me? I did. Don't get your hopes up. She said she's interested in me. What's this? What is? What's this about? What kind of girl is Ohyasan? Is she cute or is she hot? Eh, definitely hot. Oh, that's the wrong question. You should be asking why. I feel so guilty about you being so excited to see her, only to get interviewed. Definitely hot. For real? You're not pulling my leg, right? Ohyasan. She said she wanted to talk. How much more forward can a girl get? Oh. Oh, Mishima, dude. I'm so sorry. <laughs> is this really what I think it is? Could it be? Yeah. I wish I could be more direct than this, but you'll find out, buddy. Man, I am so looking forward to this. It's all thanks to you. I feel like, like starting the fan site has really changed me. Anyway, I can handle this. You introduced me, so I'll make sure I don't embarrass you. And I'll totally let you know if we end up hooking up. Mishima, I'm gonna shoot this dream down right now. That's not happening, dude. I feel bad that you think that's what's gonna happen. I tried to prepare her for that. Hopefully she lets you down easy, but uh, does not sound like she has. Let's do the bio-nutrients. Give some reason to ice nutrients. This ought to bring a bit of life back to the plant. I think the best nutrients are in Jinjuku. Yes. That should do it for a while. Can I continue watching my thing? Oh. Hey, you read it something, right? We can continue watching the ICU. I can't go anywhere, right? Yeah, I can't go anywhere. So, yeah, let's oh. watch the ICU. If you try to save both the mother and the baby, you'll lose them both. Or I could save them both. I can do this. You need to trust me. Story about the daily struggles of doctors working in an emergency ward. That's incredible. Wow, this guy just doesn't have the word surrender in his dictionary, does he? So, we finished watching ICU, huh? Maybe you learned a thing or two about kindness from watching this drama. Two points. Okay. Let's go return the DVD soon. Well, then. Now it's starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? So I gotta return the book, I gotta return the DVD, and then I gotta get new ones of both. Anyway. June 19th, Sunday. I can't believe you guys ditched me yesterday. I almost entered a world I want nothing to do with. Well, Ryuji, again, it was funny, though. What are you talking about? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Nothing. Just start it up, Yusuke. <laughs> yeah, no. Like I said, don't worry about it. It's funny, but don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. I entered Kaneshiro's name into the nav, and just as expected, it's a hit. All we need now are the two other keywords. What he thinks of as his palace, and where it is. But we don't have any clues other than people falling victim around here. Eh, we'll just have to try whatever keywords we can come up with. 
Here, let's throw darts at a board. It's gonna be impossible. How many buildings do you think there are in Shibuya? No complaining. If we can figure out what the palace is, we may be able to guess where it is by association. Hmm. It's probably somewhere he's got complete control over. Maybe a garden? No. He likes money, so what about a money bath? I've seen people online with things like that. I think you're getting somewhere on, but not quite there. No, not even close. How about it? Can you Draco? Of anything? A bank. I see. Okay, that's a hit. So, he thinks of somewhere in this city as his own bank. I thought it'd be something less realistic. That's all it is, huh? Hmm. Now then, what location would Kaneshiro think of as his bank? I mean, you can't see, but I'm gesturing to all of the city. It's where he targets. Talking about a place where he keeps his cash, maybe his own hideout. How about a real bank? No, that's on. I don't want to say that's stupid, but that's stupid. You wouldn't see a bank as a bank. <laughs> his cognition wouldn't be distorted in that case. Exactly. Damn it, we ain't getting anywhere. Well, not with that attitude. This may be difficult to explain, but doesn't it seem we're thinking a little too inside the box? I agree. Palaces emanate a passionate madness. It feels as though we're missing that aspect. The hell are you talking about? This palace is a bank for someone who extorts money with criminal acts. It's something more... But what other ways can we think about it? Again, gesturing to the entire city. Oh, could it mean a place you withdraw money? Hold on. Do you think it might have something to do with the victims? Yes. He's taking money from his victims' wallets, right? That means his bank is wherever they are. That's terrible. But you may just be right. You may be crazy, but it just may be a lunatic you're looking for. Sorry, I had to. Oh, come on! How many people do you think Kaneshiro's taken advantage of in all of Shibuya? Result found. Wait a second. Ta-da! <laughs> I have a hit. Huh? Oh, wait, what? D did I say something right? You did, Ryuji. The place that Kaneshiro thinks of as a bank is all of Shibuya. Shibuya. What? Like, the entire city? Yes. I see. That's certainly where his victims are. It turns out he really is a terrible criminal. But wait, is it okay for us to go into the palace right out of a crowd like this? I would say no. We might drag some people in. We might want to find a better area to go. Eh, nobody notices if a piece of trash disappears from a trash can. This ain't any different. Ryuji, listen. People will notice if four people just vanish in thin air and the cat. Like, people are into their own things, sure. And, like, it's a big, loud city. But if someone were just to happen to turn around while we were vanishing into thin air, I think someone would notice that. Also, recall that we can drag people in with us. It has happened before. There are a lot of fucking people here. Bad idea. In that case... Let's go. Oh, fuck me. Alright, but it's not my fault if we have to recruit like 10 people because we've dragged them in. Including Makoto, who's probably watching us right now. What are those? Walking ATMs. That must be his cognition of people. Yep. So this is what Kaneshiro considers a bank. I never thought it would be the entire district. Look around us. The distortion is affecting the whole of Shibuya. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, that's right. Even when we were in the castle and the museum, the city outside looked normal. He sees everyone in Shibuya as his patron. Mm-hmm. No surprise for a mafia boss. It's best or a CEO. Finding Kaneshiro's location and stealing his treasure as soon as possible. 
Yeah, his hideout's got to be somewhere around here. Let's go look for it. You know what? That's too narrow. Or a corporate executive. Okay, let's go. In any case, let's look for a bank. There should be a huge one around here somewhere. I mean, the buildings basically look the same. Hey. Look at that person trembling over there. You think he's a victim? We should talk to him. How do you know it's a him? Uh... Just an ATM machine with arms and legs. Uh, do these guys even have mouths? Excuse me, can we... Uh, please forgive me! Where's Kanashiro? I, I don't have any more, please! I'm telling you, not even one yet! Come on, man. Oh, cool it. We're not trying to mug you or anything. Please, I don't want to end up like the others! Were you assaulted? <sighs> There's no doubt he's a victim, but he can't even hold a goddamn conversation. Let's try someone else. This one's just fucking dead. Perhaps. Oh, those. Oh shit! There's even more dead ones. No. This is terrible. All of these are real people, right? Yep. This is effed up. I don't think we can talk to any of the ones here. Are all these guys Kanashira's victims? Piled up mercilessly in the street. That would appear to be the case, but there's nobody we can speak to. Let alone bank anywhere. Joker. Let's try checking around the station once more. We may have overlooked something important. <laughs> I got conned! Oh no, that's the same one from before. Oh, look! Do you think that person's a victim, too? Hey. Excuse me, can we have a word? We are... It's no use. It's all over. I'll end up just like them. What happened? Can't you tell? I've fallen. I've fallen so far. From a place where Kanashiro leaves no tracks. What do you mean? What could that mean? Hey, you gotta tell us a little more than... I'm... too tired. Please... let me rest. I think we just watched someone die. It doesn't look like this one's gonna... going to be... to say anything. Punisher leaves no tracks. Does he mean that literally, or... could it be figurative? Why don't we go over all the intel we have now? Hmm. We've apparently fallen quite far. Wait a second, they've fallen? From a place where Kanashiro doesn't leave any tracks? Could that mean they were actually thrown down from somewhere high up? Uh... What, you mean like a skyscraper? Uh, I... There ain't any of those around here, I don't think. No. Wait! What's that? What's what? Oh, that! Is that it? No, Rage, that's just a completely irrelevant fucking flying saucer above the town. Up in the air. No wonder you couldn't find it. Yeah, people hardly look up. Kind of sheer doesn't leave any tracks, huh? Figures it'd be floating. Yeah. Get up there. Can you turn into a helicopter, Morgana? No, just a car. Unfortunate. I mean, I have a grappling hook, but I don't think that's gonna get me high enough. Unless we could like climb to the top of one of the buildings and then maybe, but even then, it's quite a distance for the grappling hook. You're useless. Come on. Don't you have some kind of secret gadget or something? Okay, Ryuji, he's not useless. Don't be a dick. Shut it. I'm not some robot cat. I mean, I'm not a cat at all. This may be the limit of what we can do today. We gotta find
find a way to get up there. Let's think about it some more tomorrow, okay? Well, we're probably gonna have to find a way to get in contact with Punisher so he actually knows who we are, which is gonna be super right, dangerous. Get out of here for now. Run for it. All right. Just the car. He says like it's nothing. Yeah, like that's not a big fucking deal. I have a new message from Ohia. Evening. It's that woman who reeks of alcohol. Yes, yes, it is Morgana. You free? Um, yeah. All right, I have a bit of advice for you. It's about that kind of Shiro guy. He's way more dangerous than I thought. Police haven't tracked him down, so I dug a little deeper. Turns out he has some real shady connections. I won't say any more than that. Shady connections. He's not someone a teenager like you should mess with. You should really back off, okay? Well, that's all I wanted to say. See you. You know, that's nice. It's nice of her. Proving our justice isn't going to be easy. We'd better discuss this with everyone tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, there's not really a lot to discuss. Hey, we learned that the Mafia boss has some shady connections. I know. Shocker. And just when we find the palace, it's all the way up in the sky. What a pain. I'm sure the police are tired of this guy, too. That reminds me. The home shopping program is airing today. Want to check out the TV? I mean, I guess I could do that real quick. Also, I should probably try making some lockpicks. How am I doing on those? I probably don't have a lot, right? I have none of them. Yeah, I gotta make some lockpicks. Shit. I went a little too far. Uh, ooh, Revivadrin and Recovery are 100 milligrams. Ten of those, three of the Revivadrins. What was the other one? A blaring alarm clock and a face beautifier. Those are gifts which could be useful for getting certain people up. Um, I think I'm probably going to go with the Revivadrin combo, though. The busy revival pack. Now. You must be tired after going to the metaverse. I admire your tenacity, but let's call it Oh yeah, we did take Leo there, huh? Pose masquerade. Okay. We can probably make four. Good luck! Putting all of it into lockpicks. And I wish I had some kind of permanent lockpick or a skull key or something. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Wow, what an efficient use of materials! You ended up with even more than I had expected. Hell yeah! Oh damn, two. That's six lockpicks, holy shit. Yes. You're definitely getting better. I can tell just by watching you. Two points! I saw that the way you used your hands, you did great! Make that three points. Well, then. Okay, let's go to bed. I've been thinking lately. About those phantom thieves, I mean. If Dad were still alive... Sorry, I... I shouldn't bring this up while we're eating. It's okay. Keep going. I just wonder if he would have been on their side. That's all. The only reason you have time to think about that is because you depend on someone else. That's not... You don't have to do a single thing, and you're provided with food, clothes, a home. I've had no time to think on such ridiculous thoughts. Would Dad have been happy with them? I don't care. He died upholding some lofty sense of righteousness, leaving all his responsibilities on us. Uh, all I was trying to say was... Isn't it about time you grew up and acknowledged our situation? Right now, you're useless to me. Jesus Christ. 
All you do is eat away at my life. Jesus fucking Christ, say. Sorry, that was uncalled for. I'm just really tired. I'll be eating dinner out from tomorrow on. Where Makoto? June twentieth, Monday. Just remembered. I've been seeing a lot of shows on TV lately about these phantom thieves of hearts. I wonder why both they bother stealing hearts. You can't do anything with them. They've no monetary value either. This is a weird angle. We're not usually from this angle. Also, that's not true at all. You could donate a heart to like a hospital or something to get money from it. If I were them. I would go for something with a concrete, clear value, like gold. Speaking of, there's another kind of metal that's very valuable in its own way. They're called minor metals, and they're used in many electronics. In fact, most of you probably have some on your person right now. In your pockets, in your purses. Give me an answer. Were you listening, Takami-san? Give me one example of something most of you have that connects, contains minor metals. Oh, that's easy, a phone. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I mean... Hey, wait! Hey, Lydia is obviously panicking. Be a good guy and help her out. Hey, this doesn't oh, look I good. don't know at all. Sorry, Draco, can you help me out? Something that uses minor metals, and all of us have something like that on us. Uh, right now I've got lipstick, my smartphone, and mascara. Well, it's definitely the mascara, but, you know, just for laughs, let's say smartphone. What do you think, Draco? One of these things has minor metals in it, right? It's the smartphone. Obviously. Do you have metal in your lipstick? Do you have metal in your mascara? You know what? I shouldn't say that shit. I have no fucking clue. I don't use those things. Maybe they do. What the fuck do I know? My smartphone? Oh yeah, she said it is something about electronics, right? Okay, so the answer must be my smartphone. This is it. Correct. Precisely. A lot of minor metals are excavated in China. Some countries simply produce more than others. 90% of minor metals used in Japan are imported. But a lot of the recycled, recyclable trash we throw, oh, nah, throw away contains minor metals too. In other words, a junkyard is much more valuable than someone else's heart. Thanks! Ooh, thanks for the help! Nice going! Nice! Lady Aunt seems really relieved. I'll take that point of charm. Hey, rank three in charm. Look at me go. All right. Your charm is increased from head turning to suave. You're pretty good at studying. I'm impressed. I thought it was going to give me a point of knowledge too, and I got really excited there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we ain't got nothing. Not with that attitude. Are we out of luck? It's no fair his palace is up in the sky. Look, all we gotta do is change his cognition to believe we belong in his fucking bank. So we gotta contact him, it's that easy. Well only we could contact the real Kanashiro. Yeah, exactly. Although, to be fair, that's easier said than done, huh? <laughs> what do you want? Oh, hello, Makoto. How are you? This fine evening. Nothing in particular. Well, after school. I just saw you all together here. Huh, that's so. You seem to be having quite a bit of trouble. So you're here to check up on us? You may be the student council president, but when it comes to what we do, you're useless. Uh oh, On, you really shouldn't have said that. I mean, I would have no way of knowing that, but yeah. Jesus Christ. You know, we don't have to be this rude, guys. Just stay on your high horse and watch. Or do you want to eavesdrop since you're so good at it? Look, on, she's not that good at it. <laughs> so you wish to get in contact with Kanashiro? Oh, you were listening to that part, huh? Yeah. That is what you were just discussing, weren't you? 
Yeah. It seemed you just needed to find out where he is. Something like that. <laughs> hey, you don't gotta answer her honestly. Rage, I was being cagey about it. So you're just the good girl type to push over. Right now, you're useless to me. I'm not. What? Sorry, we weren't really privy to what was going on there. What? What was that? Fine. I'll help you meet Kanashiro. How? What exactly is she planning on doing? Now look what you guys did. She's gonna put herself in extreme danger because you called her useless. She had a dead serious look in her eyes. Does this mean she has an idea as to where Kanashiro may be? I highly doubt that. I didn't like her stern face. Uh, what is up with her? There are way too many people here. We're never going to find her. But pull and I got peas. Hello? It's me, Makoto Nijima. Just stay on the phone and listen. Make sure you record the call as well. Okay, um, I don't know how to do that, but I'll definitely stay on listening. Huh? Who is it? Makoto Nijima. Yes, yes she is. It's making a stupid decision because you all had to call her useless. Where are you getting at? He's blackmailing the students at Shuzhen Academy, is he not? Tell him if he doesn't want me talking to the police about it, he better agree to meet with me. You got a death wish or something? He says he'll meet you. Get in. Fuck. You better be taking me to Kanashiro. He said get the fuck in. Oh, fuck me. We gotta keep up with a fucking car. Hey, wasn't that... It's the guys that messed with us the other day. Yep. So they were connected to Kanashiro. Of course they were. Oh no. Where are we going? Yeah, I guess we can't do anything to her. She's Kanashiro san's customer. Hey, I asked a question here. Where are we going? We gotta go after them. Yes, let's run after the car. I'm sure we'll be able to keep up. Ryuji, get a taxi. I'll Okay, I've got their license plate. My sketching skills will come in handy. Hell yeah! Hey, taxi! Ugh, shit, he ignored me. Damn, I said stop. That's a good way to do it, but you almost got yourself killed. Ryuji! Hurry up and get him. So, you're seriously the student council president of Shujin. You know what happens to anyone who snaps at me, don't you? So, whose number is this? Your boyfriend? God, he looks like a sleaze. What in the world? Who the fuck are you? Nijima-san. What the hell did you do to her? Oh, I get it. You got followed, you dumb shits. <laughs> dumb shits? Holy moly. That's a lot of yen. That bag you saw the other day. The crocodile one? How much was it? Mm, about three million. Three million! Wait, three million in yen. So that'd be like, what, $30,000? That's still a fuckload of money. For a purse? Oh, for real? Better thank those guys. What? I'm royally pissed right now. Can you tell? You know how spending money relieves stress? 
It's you goddamn brats sniffing around like dogs and barging in here like you own the joint. See this empty space? I'm so pissed that now there's a three million yen gap here. It pisses me off even more if I don't fill it up. I'm a perfectionist. Piece of shit is what you are. So, good luck. What is that supposed to mean? Yusuke, he's clearly extorting us. He wants us to get him three million yen. I mean, I've got like a hundred thousand something in my pocket I could give you, I guess. A few trips to mementos, and I could probably get that. Just take a while. Come on, you all look so tense. I think I'll call it debauchery of minors at a club. So, can I send this to your school? That's a lot of us are in uniform. Oh damn, I got booze and six in the shot. Maybe some drugs too. Ah, this is so hilarious. I feed on dumb shits like you. Understand, pretty little student council president. Now listen up. Run your mouth to the police, and I'll break all of you, starting with your families. Well, good news. I don't really have one of those. Haha! -ha. I made myself sad. <laughs> and I may have just admitted more than I should have. I want to give you the usual month, but well, you have such a large group here. Three weeks. Bring three million in by then. No less. So we need to make a million yen each week. Summer bonuses are around the corner, you know. It'll be easy if you beg your mommies and daddies. Or I could just go to the metaverse and beat the shit out of some shadows and extort the shit out of them. We're not so different, you and I. You extort people, I extort gods and monsters in the subway. I'm not crazy, you're crazy. Get out of my sight. I'm about to have some fun. What? To hell with that! Don't bother with him. Makoto's safety is more important right now. Three weeks for three million yen. Things have taken a serious turn for the worse. Hey, Makoto. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? I didn't mean to drag you in like this. Makoto, you could have gotten killed. <laughs> For real. I was stupid. I must agree. You should have easily imagined this happening. Hey, Yusuke. Y Yusuke, now it's not the time to say I told you so. I was so caught up in trying to be useful. All right, enough of the blame game. What's done is done. I'm gonna cause trouble for Sis, too. Sis? My older sister has a commendable job, and she's a much more remarkable person than me. Oh no. You're pretty cool. I mean, admittedly, you're a massive narc, and you're not really good at trying to sneak up and, like, watch people, but you're a damn good student and a pretty good student council president i'm sure a lot happened after we lost our father three years ago so it's just us living together but i'm still a child so all i am is a burden to her hmm. and that's why you were so reckless i just wanted to be useful in some way to someone you know i might not get your whole situation but Ain't it a bit off saying that you're useless to her? It's the truth, though. In particular, I have to apologize for what happened to you. Huh? Now that I think on it, the truth about Kamashita must have been covered up by the whole school. I had my suspicions, but I couldn't do anything about it. No, I didn't do anything. Had I cared enough, I could have done something. <sighs> People like me must really be what others call scum of the earth. Real scum wouldn't call themselves that. Mm. Huh? I'm the same. It's just like you said before. 
I was closest to Shiho, but I didn't do anything. Besides, Kamoshida's the one to blame. Shiho understands that, and I do too. Takamaki-san. You didn't have a place to belong either. Isn't that right? Me either? Yeah, we're a bunch of misfits and outcasts. Want to join the club? We won't let anyone fall victim again. Now, what should we do from here? I'll do something about the money. So can we please just drop the case with Kanashiro? Oh, no, 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 Makoto. We got exactly what we needed, thanks to you. I mean, he was reckless, and you could have been killed, and you really shouldn't have fucking done that. But... Now that we have what we need, we're gonna fucking do it. No can do. We're all caught up in this. We can't have you rushing things on your own anymore and making the situation worse. Yusuke, you're being a real shit about this. If only we could do something about that bank. For fuck's sake, Ryuji. Ryuji. Bank. Don't worry about it. Oh right, the bank. She isn't useless at all. She may be our key in. Hear me out, you guys. Our key in? What do you mean? I mean, technically all of us were there. A cat? Um, are you all okay? Yeah, the cat talks. Don't worry about it. You can't hear it. We've become Kaneshiro's targets. That means we've become customers of Kaneshiro's bank. I see. The reason why we couldn't enter before was because we weren't considered his customers. This must be wild to Makoto on the other end. We can hear Morgana. She's just hearing, meow, meow, and then, I see. And wouldn't you say that she in particular is a special customer? Let's take her with us. She is responsible for our current situation. I mean, throwing her into the metaverse seems like a crazy thing to do, but fuck, we'll see. Whoa. I don't follow this at all. She risked her life doing something so reckless. At the very least, she has the right to know. Yeah, alright, let's tell her about our Phantom Thieves bullshit. She knows enough. Won't you come with us? Come with me, and you'll see a world of pure and utter distortion. What? Wait, to where? Oh, you'll see. Yeah, where are we going? Okay, Ryuji, just follow along. Beats me. Oh god, the two of you are so dumb. I love you both, but god, both of you are so dumb. Really earning that blonde stereotype. A canine? What? It's Fox. Yeah, he's a fox. I mean, foxes aren't really canines, I don't think. I think they're closer to felines, but that's a side point. Be quiet. The shadows are going to notice us. A monster cat? Okay, rude. That is Mona. I'm not! That's Morgana, the cat that was in his bag. <laughs> this is what happens when we come here. Welcome to the metaverse. That voice. Takamaki-san? Where are we? I, I just said, w welcome to the metaverse. We're inside Kaneshiro's... Uh, well, the world inside his heart. What? It's another reality in which Kaneshiro's distorted desires have materialized. Another reality? Yes. It's floating in the air. Th this is reality? My goodness. Yeah, it's a lot to take in if you've never seen this before, huh? If you need a moment, we can give you a moment to just get your shit sorted. <sighs> like, we get it. We've all been through this. I I'm sorry, it's just... Except for Magana. This really exists. I can't doubt it. Yeah, or you're crazy. But I mean, if it's any consolation, if you're crazy, so are the rest of us. So you're in good company. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. <laughs> a reality that one's heart shows. Is it like the application of optical illusions in social cognitive psychology? Kind of? Kind of, yeah. That's a 
something we have no idea about. I mean, Anna, you know what? It's fine. I see. So stealing one's heart. Yeah, we had to go through the whole spiel off screen. Maybe like overriding their cognition. Yeah. I think I kind of get the logic behind it. Ain't she more amazing than you? Okay, rude. We're about the same. Then does that mean there's an ATM version of myself somewhere in this world too? I mean, probably. Perhaps. Regardless, we can change Kanashiro's heart and make him confess if we steal his treasure. If it all goes well, that is. <laughs> we'll make it go well. Everyone will notice us for sure if we take someone like Kanashiro down. Hmm. Our justice will also become resolute. Think we'd be able to give courage to those in need if it happens? I mean, yes. Yes, I think the people that we free from Kanashiro's bullshit will be very full of courage. For the sake of those in need, huh? You sound like my father. <laughs> Your father? No, that don't mind me. You want to go to that bank, right? Let's go then. Hell if I yeah. I'm a customer of that bank, then they'll have to let me in. Valid point. And that's what we're thinking. For real? It came to us. Mhm. Mm it's just as I calculated. Well, well, well. You know how you can use your card to get into banks during after hours? Mm -hmm. I thought that I'd be able to get in, since I have the same identity as such customers. I'm kind of Shiro's source of revenue, after all. Yeah, it's fucked up, but that is correct in this situation, huh? Oh, that makes sense. Wow, this place is huge. I rarely gotta go to the bank, so this is making me kind of nervous. Ryuji, it'll be fine. This isn't even like a real bank. Being in a bank with costumes like these is so obvious. We're totally robbers. I mean, yeah. But like, that, right. that doesn't matter. It seems there will be a lot of shadows from here on. Huh? What's that about? Enemies attack us here. Mm. Also, you know... I don't know how much time has passed since before explanation to now, but you've really adapted quickly to the talking cat, huh? I see. I've trained in Aikido. Don't worry. I can defend myself. I like the idea of Makoto not having a persona at all and just beating the shit out of, like, gods and demons and stuff with her bare fucking hands. They just start shit and she's like, oh. Oh, you thought. Not to fuck a day. <laughs> Self-defense won't do much good against shadows. But then again, it's better than nothing. Actually, probably more like, Oh, oh, you thought I would be just this defenseless little girl. Guess again. And then proceed to, like, bend their arms backwards. I'm an honorary customer, so I better act like one. I will be useful for you guys. Well then, let's head inside. Alright. Time to make a withdrawal. Shall we go? Alright, we're going in. What business do you have here? I had a feeling this would happen. Well, hold on on. Come at us. No no wait! She's one of Kanashiro's customers. I'd like to speak with the bank president. Excuse me, but do you have an appointment? I need to talk to him. Now let me through. Oh shit. Let him pass. That voice. It's Kanashiro. Yo, banks have presidents? Yeah. Yes, but not the political sorts. In theory. In theory. Mm -hmm. 
Please wait. Reception is to the right, towards the back. I strongly advise you not attempt to go elsewhere. Golly gee, Mr. Me, I would never dream of such a thing. Oh, the very idea of not going to the designated area I'm supposed to be going to. Reception is just past this door. But what if I went this way? Oh. That's not the way. Get just back towards the bank. Back. R right, right. Sorry. Sorry. Got a little turned around there. He said right after going forward, and I got confused. That's on me. Reception is to the right. Don't go anywhere else. But I want to see what's over that way. Fine. This place is gigantic. To think such a large bank just floating in the sky. Well, I guess anything goes in a palace. I can feel it. I'm just using my thief vision to see if anything comes up along the way. This is the reception office. Hurry on inside. Yes, sir. He's not even going to come in here, is he? He's just going to show up on the TV screen and... Oh. A mountain of cash. Beefballs could I eat with this? Probably a shitload, dude. Unauthorized entry, property damage, and other disturbances. Hey, I didn't damage any property yet, I'll have you know. I haven't even thrown a single Molotov. That comes to three million yen in total. You're here regarding that, correct, Miss Beautiful President? It must be quite tough gathering so much money. I'd be willing to give you a loan, you know. You gonna call it off then? You know, a thought just occurred to me. We could take his loan, and he exists outside of our reality. So if we just took the money from him, never came back here, we could very easily just get the money scot free. No, a loan. The interest rate is ten percent a day. That is obscene. An interest a day. Um, uh, that means uh, one day is. Math is hard. It's three hundred thousand yen. Per day, it goes up three hundred thousand yen. That's fucking bullshit. There's no need to be alarmed. I have a more manageable option for people like you. Oh, good. That was your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? Quite the impressive insight, Nijima-san. Or should I say, the younger sister of the beautiful prosecutor, Sai Nijima. I don't know why you would, that's quite the mouthful. How do you know that? Please don't underestimate our intelligence network. My, what wonderful goods have come falling into my lap. Don't be ridiculous! Young women are such great assets. They lack strength. Be it social, physical, or mental. Oh, he's misogynist on top of everything. Fantastic. It's as if they only exist to be devoured by the strong. I'm gonna look forward to bashing your skull from one of those monitors. That just might be the rule since the dawn of history. God, you're repulsive. You truly are despicable. You better be ready, Kanashiro. We're gonna snatch your treasure from you. Don't make me laugh, you petty thieves. My citadel has the highest security installed in it. Does it? Anyone will do anything for money. I'll rob you of your lives as easily as I breathe air. <laughs> Get them. Let the battle begin. Shiro's orders. Eliminate them at once. Come. Um. Yeah, we don't have a nice user right now. Persona. No, I could. Oh well, it's too little, too late. I was gonna say I could extort them with a Pulinpa. Well, didn't find their weakness, but we killed them.
All right, round two it is. I haven't tried physical, bullets, psi, nuke, light, or darkness. Shit, not what I wanted to do. Alright, so the only thing I don't really have access to at the moment is light. Nope. Oh, I should have tried physical. Oh well. Apparently they're strong against bullet. Okay. Oh no, I've been transferred shock. Alright, let's see if we can do anything to assist you. Um Let's see. Stop that. Let's see. How do you feel about Nuke? Oh? Absolutely, let's go, dude. Get him, Skull. Nope, they resist that too, huh? I don't see a weakness. I haven't tried light or darkness, but I don't think they have a weakness, is the thing. Uh, we could use a heal. And they're dead. I can keep beating your shit in all day. <laughs> what the? There's no end to them. Have they really been hired with money? We're yeah. In trouble at this rate. Let's run. All right. We'll take a tactical retreat, I suppose. Why did the security guards turn into monsters? And what were those supernatural powers? So we have personas. They transformed into monsters because that's what they do. Could those have been the personas you mentioned? Yes, our powers personas, the shadows guards. Does now really look like the time to be asking that? Yeah, we got a bolt. We need to retreat. Makoto, make sure you don't get separated from us. Hurry, Joker. The exit's just over there. E Z O. Oh. You seem to be in quite a pickle. Do I? How dare you sneak around, Kaneshiro? I mean, it's his bank. <laughs> Those would be my words. However, I do thank you for providing me with such wonderful goods. Well, you know, you could pay us. Just throwing that out there. Usually, you provide money for goods and services. It's time you disappear. I mean, it's only four guys. We can take them. Managing a bank is tough as it is. So it's my policy to kill clients who are more trouble than they're worth. Wow. Seems like you get less money that way. Having one impertinent brat disappear is enough to set an example in that other world. Please stop! Oh, I wouldn't damage an asset like you. They're dead men walking. But you'll be just fine. Your sister is quite a beauty, though. I'll make sure to make her my personal slave. Ugh. Once I get bored, I'll just sell her off. Oh, poor sis. What a piece of shit. Been successful. If only her younger sister wasn't so dumb. My sister has nothing to do with this. 
And you better start taking customers tomorrow. All you gotta do is endure it, and do as you're told. Endure it. Do as I'm told. You'll learn three million yen in no time. Although your life and everything along with it will be a complete wreck by then. <laughs> I've been listening to you go on and on. Shut your damn mouth, you money-grubbing asshole! Fuck yeah, you tell him! <gasps> Have you decided to tread the path of strife? Yes. Come to me! Very well. Let us proceed with our contract at once. And thou, thou art I. You have finally found your own justice. Please, never lose sight of it again. Oh fuck, she just smashed through that tile. This memorable day marks your graduation from your false self. Ride the righteous path! Yo Fucking cool. A persona? No, dude. That's a bike. No, it's a persona. That's also a bike. Myself. Me. Got it. God, she's so fucking cool. Oh, don't worry, we'll do that for you. I will not lose heart again. Ever. I'll go full speed, non-stop. Right, Johanna? <laughs> don't get all cocky just because I normally behave myself. I am done playing nice! Hey, Makoto. Not the best time, but you're really fucking hot right now. Let's go! <clears throat> the enemy's agitated. Take them down and make an opening. With pleasure. Mafray. The enemy's dead. Not over yet. Eh, fuck it. Hmm. Now, let's get out of here. None of that was worth experience. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say. Well, there's a incredibly powerful new Persona user with a fucking motorcycle. We could maybe try using that. There's only one exit, right? Mm, as far as we know. So, you're totally the fist of the Phantom Star now, huh? <laughs> fist of the Phantom Star. Nice pull. Do you wanna get smacked? I'm going on ahead, so follow me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Right? Okay, we have a path. Get in. Yeah, that's the only way we're keeping up with her motorcycle. So you'll stand against me no matter what. Very well. I'll wait for you all. There's no escape in reality. Nor will you break through the security system here. Wanna bet? It doesn't matter what you do. You can kiss your bright futures goodbye. Man, talk about wild. 
Mm-hmm. That was no Aikido. That was some hardcore ass whooping. It was. I mean, she mostly used her persona in that instance, but uh, I get the feeling. Well, I mean, we saw her weapon is her punching the shit out of things. I am so not pissing her off. I feel like she'll rip off my arm. Safe bet. She does exude that aura. Oh, stop it. <laughs> this is the most exhausted I have ever gotten these past few years. Yeah, that, that's how the first awakening is for everyone. But it felt pretty great. Right? I never thought I'd become part of the phantom thieves I was after. Sis might faint if she found out. <laughs> you mentioned her earlier. She's a prosecutor for the district. And she's investigating the Phantom Thieves. Wait, ain't that bad? Eh. No need to worry. A normal investigation would never lead them to a world like that. Yeah, there's literally no way they could account for fucking magic. How many times do I have to say this? It must have been fate for this to happen. I guess so, huh? What do you mean? I can't be like my sister. I had a feeling that there'd come a time when we wouldn't see eye to eye anymore. I'm thankful to have a sister who works so hard, but there are times I feel sorry for her, too. And after hearing my persona's voice, I clearly understand how I feel now. It appears you're not as reserved as you make yourself seem. I was just doing whatever the adults told me to. There was a lot of pressure building up at you, huh? Won't she be perfect as our advisor? She's fearless and has a sharp mind. I agree. Sounds good to me. We've needed someone like that for a while now. I'd be honored if I can help out. We had way too much testosterone anyway, so I feel much better. Yep, we got peas. It's from Kaneshiro. He's reminding us of our debt. But we forgot. So the Kaneshiro over here doesn't know what happened inside the palace. Nope. That's right. But his palace will be affected if the real Kaneshiro's cognition changes. Seems it'd be best to avoid unnecessary contact with him until then. Yeah, that's fair. Three weeks left, huh? There's that security system, too. Well, we've expanded our uh, previous deadline, so that's good, right? Right? But if we pull this off, it'll definitely be great. Oh yeah, it's gonna help a lot of people out if we pull this You'll off. Crush him like a fly. I'll make him regret making me angry. Again, Makoto, really, really attractive right now. I mean, I said nothing. You heard nothing. I, I, moving on. Anyways, let's begin our operation tomorrow. Sounds like a plan, my man. First, we need to secure a route to the treasure, like always. You guys are finally starting to get used to this. Mm-hmm. I'll be waiting for the call to meet up. Sounds sounds good. You already have my number. We'll probably put you in the group chat. Oh, there's our peas. Damn, motorcycles are cool. That is a factual statement, yes. I wish my persona was like that. I mean, yours has a boat, I think. Yours is on a ship, though. Dude, are you kidding? Motorcycles are way cooler than a dumb boats. Captain Kid is like crying in the background now. <laughs> I'm cool too, Ryuji. It'll be just like the song. I'm a phantom on a steel horse I ride. It's a cowboy, actually. A cowboy on a steel horse. Don't say such things. And for the record, I am most certainly not wanted. Hey, don't say that, Makoto. We want you. Honestly, I'm mostly just surprised you don't know how uh, you know how to ride a motorcycle at all, Nijima Senpai. You got a license? A regular one, yes. Nice. I can't wait to get my hands on one too. That aside, mind if I change the topic for a moment? What is the matter? I'm sorry, everyone. I know I'm not in any position to be saying this, that, uh, saying that I truly do. However, I must apologize. It was my actions that dragged all of you into this mess. On top of that, I misunderstood your true intentions in this. 
If only I could have realized what was happening to Suzui-san, too. Come on, we don't need to talk about that now. It seems there are still lingering issues on everyone's mind. That's not the time to be talking about that shit, though. Don't we gotta be doing something about Kanashiro? He's right. Very well, I understand. Anyway, I will do my best to make sure I don't slow you down. Well, we were at odds with each other until just a while ago. Don't you just love the enemies to friends trope? But Ryuji's totally right. We need to work together to overcome this. Damn straight. Free for you to draw. Nice. It seems like she'll make a reliable advisor. But now, we're going against a real criminal. Stay on your toes, okay? Hey. Another box came in for you. Oh, sweet. My revival stuff is here. This is my order from the home shopping program. Well, I can't... Well, let me see. Do I have any books? I could train two to get more HP. So, did you want to spend some time reading? Oh yeah, I do have some stuff. Okay, what do I want to focus on? I have proficiency, knowledge, kindness, and some magazines that'll reveal more areas to me. Um, let's do the Medjed Menace. Make sure you close up. All right, I'm heading home. Good or evil, the threat of Medjed can be felt all over the world. What are your thoughts? There's danger afoot in the internet world too, it seems. Hey, hey. Hmm. Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So how far did you get? Seems like you still have some pages left. Should have been you some other time. Right, we've made our first step in there. A motorcycle shaped persona, huh? Yeah, it's pretty yeah, fucking cool. I can turn into a car too, so it's like I feel a sense of familiarity. I mean maybe, I guess. Motorcycles are cooler. <laughs> maybe you're a persona. <laughs> eh. Yeah. You turn into a van and that's cool, but motorcycles are cooler. You just don't get it. Don't underestimate the power of four-wheel drive. Well, motorcycles are nice too, but it can't carry large numbers of people. That's true. Realistically, she could only carry, like, herself and maybe a second person in the, uh, I believe the term is the bitch seat. I really am special after all. Unless she got a sidecar, then we could have, like, approximately three people, maybe. Carry? No. Take somewhere? You all right there, Morgana? Something just crossed my mind. And it's no use. I can't remember at all. Oh, that sucks. I hate when that happens. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it if I can't remember. That's true. I need to concentrate on Kaneshiro for now. Unlike Same you dude. guys, Makoto's clever, so we can expect great things from Okay, that. fucking rude. I'm literally right here. I'd like to think I'm pretty clever. But man, you really do have something special. Well, thank you. I just got lucky. Looks like I better step up my game, too. I feel like my bond with Morgana is growing deeper. Magician rank 4. Kitty talk! If negotiation with an animal type shadow fails, you can try again. All right. Rank 4. First. Kitty talk! I know. After we deal with Kaneshiro, I should consult her about mementos too. I mean, yeah, that makes perfect sense. I'm sure Makoto's brain can. <laughs> Hello? Uh, 
got Yusuke, and now Makoto. This guy has quite the luck. Would there be some reason for it? Eh, <sighs> the Arcana fool. Nah, that can't be. June 21st, Tuesday. I'm sorry for asking you here like this. Oh, no, it isn't a problem. I actually find it refreshing to be asked to the student council room. Although it's somewhat nerve-wracking as well. <laughs> I think I'm a bit nervous myself. Anyway, um, I wanted to apologize. I'm... Really sorry for everything. What do you mean? You know how I blamed you for Kamoshida's sexual harassment? Well, I wanted to apologize for that. I've honestly been meaning to this whole time. To Kamaki san. I realized later that Shiho was calling out for me, and I wasn't there to help her. I didn't want to admit my own guilt. So I took it out on you, Nijima-senpai. I'm very sorry. <laughs> hey, there is no need for that. In fact, I think the two of us are pretty similar. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I was unable to save anyone. Not Suzui-san, and not any of Kaneshiro's victims. I kept telling myself I wasn't at fault because I was simply following orders. But that was all a lie. I felt like I would be admitting my own worthlessness had I not shifted the blame off of myself. Fear of that worthlessness was probably why I acted so harshly toward you and your friends. I'm deeply sorry as well. I see. In that case... Wanna call it even? <laughs> even? You're right. How about we leave this conversation in the past? Mm-hmm. Oh, but one more thing. You're not worthless, Nijima-senpai. You were a bit reckless, but you're the reason we found a way into Kaneshiro's palace. And you even obtained the power to change people's hearts. You did that all yourself, Nijima-senpai. <laughs> that way of thinking is very much like you, Takamaki-san. <laughs> when you confronted me about Suzui-san, I realized how dishonest and small I was. You're always very direct. That's what helped me finally realize the error of my ways. It turns out I'm a little slow on the uptake at times. <laughs> hey, can I call you on um yeah i i'm going to do the same M M makoto ah that's so embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> how about we get something to eat before we go home for the night oh i know a place there's a crepe shop at central street that totally stuffs their crepes oh do you want to split one Mm, let's each get a whole one, and then we can go half and half on those. That's thinking. Oh, yes, let's. After school today, right? Aww. They really hit it off. I realize this is a mite late, but how shall I refer to you, Nijima-san? I believe some courtesy would uh, should be shown for those who are senior. Oh yeah, would we call you Nijima-san or like Nijima-senpai? No need to be formal. Just treat me the same way you would treat you would anyone else. All right. <laughs> would that not be rude? I already just call her by name. For real? Did something happen? It's- that's a secret between us girls. Damn it, that sounds like fun. All of you may call me by my first name. No need to hesitate. Very well, I shall do just that. Hey, are you listening? Hey, Magnus! 
You, pay attention. Is that how you listen when someone's talking to you? Only when I don't give a shit about what they're saying. I feel murderous intent. Dodged! Whoa, that was an epic dodge! Get good, old man. Your skills are slipping. I believe he dodged Ushimaru's throw. Is he a ninja? Well, whatever. Moving on. Hey. Oh, you got the entire class attention. Your charm is definitely increased. Fuck yeah. It's going to be a bit before we hit four in charm since we just hit three. But good to know. I also need to get kindness and knowledge up a bit more. Our next target is a criminal. One that even the police can't handle. We'll take care of him ourselves and have leave the world speechless. The plan to change Kanashira's heart has begun. Try to steal the target's heart by the deadline. Mission start. Hey, hey shouldn't you tell the others about our target in Mementos? Yeah, 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 we'll deal with that later. Still a catchy. Well, we can't. Apparently, we can't do anything with Maruki at the moment, but he would go up. Ryuji would also go up. Dakami would go up. But more important than any of that, obviously, we're going to start with. Uh... There's the hideout. I don't know why I was going to LeBlanc. Let's go to the access way. A catchy? Hi. What are the odds? Ah, it's you. I'm glad you decided to speak to me. I had some time until the taping began, so I decided to walk around for a while. I've heard many rumors about a criminal group lately. I hope you've involved in. Uh, I hope you've avoided involvement. Yes. You don't need to worry. That is good to hear. Ah, lovely. However. You needn't hesitate to ask if you require help. I have police connections, you know. By the by, this city is never short on excitement. First that train accident, now this mafia. Not to mention the Phantom Thieves. I thought of a great many things during my stroll. That reminds me. Did the Phantom Thieves go to the Matarame exhibit before committing their crime? I mean, that's possible. It was a public thing. Well, that would require them to have money or a way to get the tickets, wouldn't it? What is their goal? And who might their next target be? Uh, who might be their next target? Hey, isn't that a catchy coon? Yes! I'm going to ask for a picture with him! I apologize. It seems I've gained more recognition lately. I'd love to chat more, but I really must be going. I hope to speak to you, uh, speak to you again soon. And like that, he's gone. Must be rough being a celebrity. People noticing you. Anyway, I'm off to do my own thing. Glad he got the fuck out of here before I went to the access way. Huh? huh? What's the deal? <laughs> Curious, huh? Well, I've come up with a super cool idea. Okay, I'm listening. Lady on will surely swoon for me if I. Oh, I see what it is. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. So, what's up, Morgana? Huh, oh, ears must have been burning. Uh, supposedly you'll swoon. I'm gonna be a shit. <laughs> From what? Well, it's something I've been giving a lot of thought lately. Now that we've all gained some experience in battle, I think it'd be good for us to work on our finishers. Our finishers? Yeah. I guess if we're going to keep fighting, we ought to do it with style. Damn straight. <laughs> right, right? Right. So I came up with just the idea. It's maybe my best one yet. And we can definitely pull it off if you play a part in it, Lady On. Me? Yep. I'm sure you've noticed by now how hard he simps for you. Well, okay. What do you need me to do? Now that's our lady on. Quick on the uptake. What I had in mind was... 
I'll just sit here as a third wheel. Do the trick. Really? Really, apparently. So is that a no? Well, it's not that I don't want to. It's more like, isn't your idea sorta impossible? Even in the metaverse? Huh? My pocket is glowing. Oh hey, it's the wishing star thing. Huh? What was that? I don't know. The star Jose gave us started glimmering. Could it have reacted to something? Sup? Oh, you know, just weird shit going on. And now we've unlocked showtimes. Imagine that I would end up helping the Phantom Thieves. Things would get interesting if my sister ever found out. There's no time to be getting sentimental here. Yes, I understand. I do have one request about all of this, though. Okay. Can you teach me how to be a phantom thief? Like, about the metaverse, for example? <laughs> of course. We'll get you up to speed. Simply put, that world is formed of a person's cognition. There, you can change people's hearts. Yeah, I've gathered that much just from going there once. But the method of transportation still eludes me. I mean, it's a smartphone navigation app. It sure is. You only need a name, a location, and a distortion. After the first entry, the palace is bookmarked. You really just make it sound like an ordinary app. Aren't there any dangers associated with it? With using the app itself? I mean, aside from accidentally dragging people in that are too close, none. Don't worry about that. We've already been a bunch of times and it... That's not what I mean. It's a navigation app, right? Couldn't someone easily access our history on the server? Huh. You know, that's a good point. Someone theoretically could if they had the navigation app, but only we have it, so I don't think it's an issue. Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Has nobody thought of this before? I mean, again, Makoto, to be fair, this is a magical phone app that seems to only work for us and only we can download it, so like... <laughs> She's catching me off guard, too. And we don't know where it came from, right? It showed up on my phone without any input from me. Oh, no, I know exactly where it came from, but none of you will believe me. It came from a long-nosed man in a velvet room. Do you know anything about it? A long-nosed man in a disturbingly blue prison room. What? Look, I told you everything I know. <laughs> I want to tell her the truth, but it's tough to explain that Igor has been sending out the app. Is it, though? I can very easily do this. All right. I understand how this is going to sound, but you've all seen the metaverse, so this shouldn't be too far of a leap. There is a man with a long nose who has given me and the friends of mine who have wakened to personas the app. It is directly from that man. He gave me this power so that I could prevent, that I and the people working with me could prevent the ruin that is supposedly coming at some undeterminate point in the future. There, you're all up to speed. I don't fully understand, but I don't think we have to worry about people accessing our data. Oh shit, I gotta get rid of the bot. There we go. From what I can tell, this app is incredibly special. It wasn't made by any ordinary means. Magic. <laughs> True. An app that allows you to enter another world isn't exactly commonplace. And an app that doesn't let you delete it no matter what you do is also not commonplace. I have tried three times in a row, and it never deleted. Like, it deletes at first, and then it comes back every single time. <laughs> doesn't know who the phantom thieves are so i suppose our information is safe for now we're still learning things ourselves i hope your sharp wit can help us with that i mean in all honesty the only person that could probably access our history in the app would be if someone was able to crack into our phones but that would require hacker and is easier said than done plus again the app involves magic so 
the possibility of someone being able to crack into our phone and then hack into that app doesn't seem likely. Thank you. I'll do my best. More importantly, we need to stop him from releasing those photos. If the public gets a hold of them... Ah, uh, I mean, I guess this one's kind of incriminating. I mean, there's alcohol, some drugs, some cigars, and then we're just standing there looking pissed. Which, I mean, would make sense if someone took a picture of you and you were engaging in all that as, you know, teenagers. I could only imagine what would happen then. See, this one on the other hand, this photo doesn't look like she's even thrilled to be there. Like, she seems like under duress in this picture. I think she could get away with spinning this as, I didn't want to be there. I got dragged there against my will. And they're using this as blackmail. We, on the other hand, I think ours is a little harder to spin like that. But in this picture, she's not looking angry at the person taking the picture. She's looking down like annoyed at the situation she's in. Come on, we just gotta take care of him before the time limit. We'll bounce back from this. Plus, people will really start admiring us if we can manage to take this bastard down. Yeah, this is the perfect opportunity. We have to succeed no matter what. Alright. Kanashir's henchman said the deadline is July 9th. Well, then without further ado, let's dive on in. Let's So what am I going to be called? I can think of a few things and none of them are ones you would agree with. You all were using code names, weren't you? Yep. Fox, Joker, Skull, Panther, Mona. And... You're quite perceptive. This time's a hard one. Maybe something like, uh, shoulder pads? No, that's kind of lame. The world did you focus on that you have all the things you could have focused on like she's in a leather getup with spikes could have gone with dominatrix or something i mean i said nothing you heard nothing i refuse to be called that fair what about rider that's a bit more on point but a little generic sounds too much like a smuggler next fixer mm. i'm not a mastermind though next won't you give me something better to work with? I mean, I'm Joker. We could stick with the card theme and give you another card name. She reminds me of an empress. That's not her arcana, Morgana. You got anything, Joker? Her arcana is the high priestess. Witch. I do like witch, but it's not the answer. If we continue with the card theming of my name, we could name her queen. I mean, she is one. I don't necessarily understand it, but sure. <laughs> it fits so well that I'm at a loss for words here. Queen. <laughs> it has a nice ring to it. I like it. Let's go with that. Sounds like a plan, Queen. Now then, could you explain to me the strategy for this mission? All right. Uh, strategy. Okay, Ryuji, we have a strategy. Why are you being an idiot? <laughs> were acting without any plans? No, no, Rage is being a dumbass. Uh, Sorry, Skull is being a dumbass. Pretty much look around the area. I provide navigation when needed. And then uh... If we run into shadows, we beat the shit out of them. Okay, yes, but there is an actual goal in mind. We're looking for a route to secure our path to Kanashira's treasure. His treasure is the source of his distorted desires. So, we scout around, we find the ideal path, we find it, and then we send the calling card. Very well then. I feel like I'll be useful for sure. Seems my role is to be the brain of this team. I'll analyze Mona's information and give out orders. Sounds like a plan, Queen. Any objections? Honestly, yours is the easiest code name to remember. You're tied with Skull. Skull is also easy to remember. No, none, Queen. Okay, you need to dial it back a little bit, Ryuji. <laughs> Definitely the type that'll be under a girl's thumb. I agree. Game recognize game. Anyway. <laughs> Mona, will you begin navigating us? Here. Yes, Queen. And so will he. Uh, him too, it seems. 
Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Guys, you don't have to be weird about this. Come on. Indeed. At least I'm better at hiding it. Anyway. Hmm, it seems we were able to use the same method as last time to get here. Apparently, we were acknowledged as customers who can be extorted. That's fine. We can take advantage of his negligence. Though, I will say it's a little scary every time. Hell is this? It seems, though, as though they didn't want to leave that gaping hole. Cowards the lot of them. Hmm. But we can't get in now. Sorry, I think I may have taken it a little too far. No, you saved us. Nice. That's right. We would have been in serious danger had it not been for Queen's actions. Thanks. Joker. The details are no longer important. Let us search for a new infiltration point, Joker. I have something. Hmm. Well, this seems interesting. Hmm? What could it be? Wait, I can feel a trap coming from underneath the statue. Doesn't this seem strange to you, Joker? You know, it does. It is a weird statue, but that placard is suspicious. Why don't we check it out? It was just that easy. It was literally a button. Oh, a hidden passage! Let's head inside. After we're adequately prepared, of course. Of course. Man, they're just throwing banknotes all over the fucking floor, huh? Wait, is that Kanashiro on the notes? I think it is. I would say, given this interior design, we're inside the bank. Seems our plan went well. I don't remember seeing this place last time. Just where exactly are we? There has to be a map somewhere. For now, let's try to explore and search for the treasure. Oh yeah, I didn't bother looking at our party, so they gave us Morgana on Makoto. Hmm... I think I'll swap out on for Ryuji. He's a bit behind in levels. So is Makoto, but we're keeping her in anyway. And so is Yusuke. Um, what persona do I want to lead with? We have Orbis, but he's going to take a long way to go to get all his shit. Uh, Kodama also is. Oh, I'm almost done with Jack Frost, so yeah, let's just finish off Jack Frost and then we'll move on to the other ones. I do like the theme for this particular palace. It's pretty swinging. Treasure! That's a red shadow. Um, that's a dog. Hold on a second. What is that? I just told you. A dog. I wish to pet it. Shadow in the shape of a dog. It seems this place has its own watchdogs. Hmm. I don't like the looks of this. Probably because you're a cat. You mean because you're a cat? Ryuji, same wavelength. Hell no! I mean, it might be able to sniff out intruders or hunt us down super fast. Also valid. But if it does end up making trouble for us, that could actually work out in our favor. Ow. Oh. We'll have a chance to finally show off our surprise finisher! Oh. Sorry to butt in. We've been spotted. Yep, he's just sort of staring right at us. Ah! Oof. Okay, mo- Yes. Fine. Here we go. Fired up. How to use Showtime. Showtime, an attack where two team members work together, has been unlocked. Showtime activates at the start of a party member's turn. It's a powerful attack that can only be used at this time. It will not consume HP or SP. You can use Showtime by pressing the touchpad when the Showtime icon appears. 
This is a Persona 5 exclusive. Let's see how it goes. They're all pretty fun like that. This is amazing. Dude, what was that just now? When did you guys figure out how to do something like that? <laughs> it's simply the fruit of our secret, passionate training. Let me ruin this for you. They discussed it like literally before we came in here, and apparently it works now. Yeah, I guess we did put some effort into it. Still, I'm surprised it went so well. Do you think... Oh, you know what it could have been? Maybe it was because of that thing Jose gave us. That star-shaped thing. I think it even gave off some kind of twinkle back then. Back then? Oh, you mean when I told you about the team-up idea? Um... So, in other words, the star, I guess we call it, Reacted to Mona's wish to fight alongside Panther? Wish granting stars. If that's truly the case, we're just encountering one strange phenomenon after another. Kind of weird that Pinocchio gave us a wishing star. Sorry, Jose, who's totally not Pinocchio. I don't really get it, but what I know is if Mona and Panther can pull that off, can't we just do it? Uh, can't we do it too? Wouldn't that be sick? What about this? Hey Fox, you want to try something? Uh, coming up with one of those badass moves of our own? We could call it like Art Run or something. Come on, quit giving me that look. There's a lot we don't understand about how this works, as usual. But what I do get is if we use these stars right, We'll be more uh, we'll be more ready than ever for our battles. Quick spoiler, Yusuke and Ryuji will come up with a team attack later down the line. I don't know if they're next though. Queen and Skull also have a combo attack if I recall. It's one of my favorites, in fact. Showtime is most likely to occur when you baton pass to Draco, or another member in a pinch. It can also happen when an enemy is near defeat. Okay, enemy near defeat. Baton pass to me. Or another member who's in a pinch. At first, Showtime will only activate for Ana Morgana. However, you will obtain more combinations as the story progresses. Showtime may become available even if the other party member is in reserve. You can still view the various combinations under status in the triangle menu. Focus. So we've got some easy pickings over there, but let's examine up here. On, Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Ryuji. Okay, so that's blocked off from us. That's it. Turn around, you stupid idiot. Get ambushed, loser! Ah, oh, some Orobas. Well, this works out greatly in my favor. Mm. No. Yes. Hey, you're more damaged. Right. Bufu. That's what I thought. Ma Bufu. Alright, Oribus. Give me your power. Get Persona. Yeah! Nice! Yeah! Victory! Alright.
All right, that's one down. Somewhere. Surprise, motherfucker. Ah, so Mechamata. Resistance Psychonesis. Psychonesis. Sleuthing Instinct. Whenever Sleuthing Instinct kicks in at the start of battle, you will deduce information about the enemy's affinity. It may even reveal the enemy's weaknesses to you. Check the analysis screen post Sleuthing for more tactical information. I think I remember your weakness off the top of my head. Oh. I mean, I was going to... You know what? It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'll show it again. Honestly, yeah. Good move. Good move. Right, I only have one, and it's only Garu, not Magaru. Oh, I was wrong. The answer was lightning. Really? Really? Hostage situation. A knockdown party member may be taken as a hostage. Whether or not you can rescue them depends on your negotiating abilities, so choose your words wisely. Rescuing hostages. When an ally has been taken hostage, you can request help from the Thieves' Guild to rescue them without fail. However, you can only request help a certain number of times during any given Metaverse infiltration. These will be replenished when the date changes. <laughs> your partner's so weak now! What to do? Won't you listen to my request and request I require soul drop? Yeah, I'm not fucking doing that. Oh, wait, you're a panther. Nah. Thieves Guild. I'll go for the auto success. Basisto Calm Get Maze Team The Phantoms has responded to the call. You, you have quite cowardly friends. Well, it's not my fault you're, you're a pussy. Just don't be a cat. I do not have any electric items. I was really hoping I'd have an electric item, but it's fine. Huh? You know what? Yeah, he's kind of down. Let's give him a little health. Can I lucky punch you down? Convenient. I would like to pet the kitty. Power, please. So, you want to talk? We don't know each other very well, after all. Look, let's just say I was in the wrong, all right? So won't you calm down already? You know, if you're willing to let this go, I'll make it worth your while. I already get enough, actually. Worth my while, you say? Although interested, you are a boy after all. But you'll have to put away that gun if you want your treat. When human women make take a vacation, they go on trips with their boyfriends, right? I want to go on a vacation, too, before this all happens. I don't know what the right answer is. <laughs> mm. What are you getting at? Oh, oh thank God. Hey, I'd be fine if you took me somewhere. Oh. That way of thinking is just like... Hmm? Wait, I remember something. I'm not the same as those shadows around here. I came from the Sea of Human Soul. My Nekomata. This is the start of a very long relationship. 
I can now pet the kitty. Your power's incredible, Joker. Isn't it? Alright. I can feel it. Hmm? An elevator. Looks like there are lower floors in here, too. Hmm, but that elevator is lacking a control panel. Mm. They probably control it from a security room. It's a simple but effective measure to, uh, of screening. That must mean they really don't want anyone going down there. I hear something sparkling. There's treasure around here. Get got, idiot. Oh, some high pixies. We don't know your weakness yet, but let's try gun. Turns out it was gun. Power. Well, we must talk things over first. I know nothing about you, after all. Excuse me, I believe this can be considered sexual harassment. I don't think it could, I just shot you full of bullets. I insist you surrender yourself to the authorities. I have no idea which one to go with. You've got the wrong idea. I have no intention of arguing with you. I suspect that you've decided to hear me out, am I right? Am I not right? I decided to be more communicative with me. I don't know what the right answer is, but she looks sounds flirty. Looks Oh thank god that was right. Can you tell me that you come all this way just to philander with women? No. Really? Speaking with you shows me how similar we really are. Oh, I'm sorry, I remember now. In truth, I'm not a shadow. I originated from the human sea of souls. My true name is High Pixie. Henceforth, I am Val. Oh shit. Um. Well, goodbye, Mandrake. <laughs> I'll have to get a rotating persona slot, but okay. I can feel it. That's it. Brainwash Rob. I'm very good at finding chests on I, I know when there's chest, come on. <laughs> Well, looky here! We've just done and found our way up top. But what would the benefit of being up here be? Ah, that would be the benefit. Just like that, we're in. I mean, there's still more to investigate. Doggo. Shit, I can't ambush him. Now. I'll reveal your true form. Your weakness is not fire. I think it's ice, actually. With that little revelation. Yep. Now, I would like to get you Twin-Headed Guardian, but I don't have room. Money, please. Me give you 2,930 yen. Me want give you money, since me had good time. Oh, good. I'm glad you had a good time. Give me more. How dare you take advantage of me? Uh-huh, uh-huh. One more. Brr, don't get cocky. You must die! 
Oh, thank God he didn't attack me. Lucky punch. Now where were me? More money, please. More, though. Humans are all greedy. A little more. Got him. Fufu. This is where Kanashira's bank. I might as well extort people. Well, shadows, but that's not the point. Okay. Shadow defeated. Let's go, Joker. I was just curious how close we were to uh, his goal. I just find it funny. If we could get to 3 million before the deadline, it'd be hilarious. Like, hey guys, we could steal his heart, or I could just pay him off. Show me your true form. Ah, an exploding one. Pass it to me. Yeah, boom! The enemy is weak against ice. It's weak to new Right. Let's end this quickly. I mean, we were working on Oribus. That was just a taste of my power. Freeze. Next time we get into High Pixie, I think I'm gonna do High Pixie. You are a horse. <laughs> Loser. Yeah! Victory! Hey, Orbis level 19. Oh, an impressive skill. Next one will be Fire Break. Negates fire resistance for all foes. Neat! Got him before he could even say something. Ah, more kitties. Do I have an ice? I think I have ice. Yeah, I have a free spray. Do I have an electric user? I don't think I do. I've got a bunch of wind users, apparently. Well, um, I'm just gonna guard and let Ryuji take this. Zap him. <laughs> Power, please. Now, before I had to deal with that, I did see this glowing over here. And that. I can feel it. I don't even and it's gone. <laughs> Alright, I think I've cleared out everything I could. The gate is shut. It appears as though we cannot force it open. I guess not. Fair enough. Somewhere. This is... There are bars here. We won't be able to open the door like this. 
It seems we may be able to pass if we have a particular item, though. Looks like we need to find a key card. I mean, obviously we have to go up there, but I'm curious to see what else we got going around here. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Surprise! Well, I did say I would go for you next time, but you're easier to... Hmm. Do we go Nekomata? No, let's try High Pixie. I hope this is enough to take you down. Nope. Alright, you. Power. I wish I could get more than one of them's power at a time for the experience. It feels like such a waste to bring them down only to not have... Yeah, because I didn't gain, like, a... much money from that. Hmm. Push the button. Beep. And look at that. We've now made it easier to get up here. Actually, I think it's equidistant, if we're being honest. Surprise! I'm just going to whip him. I'm going to do it again! Don't put me to sleep. Ah, losers. You have the worst gun for this. Fucking... Got him! Power. Give me that high pixie. Yes, victory. Victory. Hey, hey, Ryuji and high pixie got a level. Okay. Bring in Makoto. Don't know why Ryuji was in there, and not Makoto. Let's get rid of On so we can put Ryuji in. Actually, no. We'll swap Ryuji out for Yusuke, because Yusuke and Makoto need some levels. Alright, so 19 is when you get the first thing? Ugh. Alright. We ain't gonna get in like this. But, look, it says no entry by unauthorized personnel. That just makes me want to get him going more. Is there anything we can do? There is. The obvious answer from before that I neglected because I wanted to look around first. Oh, gross. I really hope there aren't any spiders in here. Need to lay low. Let's push past our fears and continue. That shadow's in our way. What should we do, Joker? Going for the ambush. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> ah, a lot of Orbass. But can I actually get the Orbass here? Oh right, they resist that. That was pointless. 
What is your... Forget. Mafre. Bufu. Bufu. And I'm gonna do it again! And now for the finisher. Mabufu. Power? Ugh, fine. Die. Could have been cool, but you chose not to. It was fun while it lasted. Goodbye. What level does Jack Frost have to be to get his thing? Is it 15? Phew. We then it somehow managed. This appears to be some kind of monitoring room. Hope we can find clues here. Well, there is that thing sparkling on the desk. Hey, hey guys, I think I found something. Ain't this some kind of keycard? Oh. And over here is a map. As expected, there seems to be quite a large basement floor. I bet that's where the treasure is. Hmm. However, only a portion of it uh, is depicted here. Unless we can obtain the other map, we won't know for certain. The cursory glance shows this building alone has one underground level. It would probably make sense for us to head there first. Shall we go on that elevator we found earlier, then? Hmm. That should be our last resort. First, let's see if there's anywhere we can use the, uh, anywhere to use this keycard. Oh, didn't we pass a door we couldn't open on the way here? Okay. Yeah, let's go check it out. We passed a couple doors. One bank keycard. Like this one. Um. What about the keycard we found earlier? That may work. But we're officially bank employees now. We've been upgraded from customer to employee. All right, it's all right. It's open. Hmm. We may as well uh, use this. In Fumble. We may as well use this in order other places as well. Fumbling a lot tonight. I'm pretty tired. Think it's time to pop out that key card from earlier? Alright, All right, now let's see what's in here. Ah! Is that an elevator? Yeah, that has to be the one they're controlling externally. So this is right above it. So what? Is this is the control room or something? What's the point of coming here? We can get on the elevator. Well. Receptive as usual, Joker. We should be able to ride on the top of the elevator. I see. We sneak atop it, then wait for it to move on its own. It does sound like that plan will take us further down. Let's go. Alright, let's get on there. Before we do, I just want to check around, make sure there's nothing else I can unlock. Focus. Yeah, there's nothing else we can unlock. Alright, let's get on the elevator and make our way down to basement floor one. Very well, we simply need to wait for it to move now. Hmm. Now where will this lead? I hope it's underground. I mean, yeah, of course it's underground. Right, here we are. Anything of note up here before we jump down? Man, these wood beams fart a lot. Or quack. 
So this is the basement. All security, listen up! Is that Kanashiro? It looks like some rats have infested this place. Under no circumstances let them further down. Strengthen security as much as you can, understood? It looks like. Seems painfully obvious where the treasure is now. Mm, I don't know, Yusuke. Maybe it's up at a higher level or something. Jury's out on where the treasure might be. <laughs> but the map from earlier doesn't show that much. I wonder if there's another one somewhere. Of course there is. In any case, heading down should be our, uh, the best move. Let's keep our eyes out for a map while we explore. Golly gee. I just don't know. Do you think that the treasure could be at the bottom? Who'd have thunk? A safe room might be close by, Joker. Why don't we look for it? Hmm, where could the safe room possibly be? Looks like we can use this place to rest. Banker Passage. That should make a good base. We can resume our infiltration he from here. If we do it. Nah, fumble. This should make a good base. We can resume our infiltration from here if we take a break, too. <sighs> the way that entrance is blocked, I think I'd call that overkill at the very least. That was so cool back there, though. Uh, oh, you think so? Thank you. I see. In all honesty, I thought Ryder would have made for a rather suitable name. Yeah, but she didn't want to go for it. Is what it is. Aww. I always knew Skull would be fine getting bossed around by a girl, but what is the exact same, huh? Yeah, he is. He'd want you to boss him around, though. He's really got a thing for you. I don't know if you've noticed with the whole Lady On stuff. Are you as oblivious as I am at that sort of thing? Maybe she is. I don't know. <laughs> well. What are you going to do, Joker? Let's chat. What do you want to talk about? How's progress? Hmm. Riding on top of an elevator. We are truly acting as full-blown thieves now. Well, hold up. The real thief here is that ca asshat Kanashiro. Then again, you really don't get to experience things like that very often. Now, then. Either way, we're still at the start. You'll wear yourself out if you let everything surprise you. What are your thoughts? Is there anything else you want to discuss? No, I think I'm good. Let's go. Let's check all of our... How are we doing on health and the like? Let's see... Um, I'm sitting on top. Um, not too bad. Yeah, I think we're fine. Oh, um, I should write something. Let's do it. Dear Diary, so we found out the name of our, our target. The head of the mafia is Junya Kanashiro. Unfortunately, we couldn't get into his palace because it was up in the air, but Makoto did something extremely reckless, which got us access. Unfortunately, we now have a $3 million debt to the man we have to pay in three weeks, so that's our time limit for the... We're stealing his heart. Hope it goes well. Plus, we have a new member whose outfit is very cool and has a motorcycle persona and she looks really hot and powerful and cool on it and I'm really happy that no one else can see this diary. Okay, so we're at file six. Um, but with that, I think we're going to end the street, uh, session here. In the next one, we will continue exploring Junya Kanashiro's palace in earnest so that we can make a withdrawal once more from his bank. I'll see you all then. But now let's find someone to raid. Mm. 
Well, I was going to say willing, but it looks like he's edited. 